one of these. And then yeah. we got the cat pet pecker optional. We'll wait for the cat if you're interested. Um, oh boy, this looks like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah I probably this, treat this. This looks like the most complicated board game. I'm super <laughs> excited. <laughs> It is the most complicated game I own. I don't know why I bought this. Because I'm not into Warhammer. Yeah, this is a weird thing to buy if you're not into Warhammer. <laughs> I am into Warhammer and I didn't buy this. <laughs> what a strange right, decision right. I made when I bought this game. Oh, little Chaos Titans. Oh, little Venus. This is fucking madness. Oh, little Space Marines. Holy oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh my god. Look at this goddamn rule book. Oh, this, one, <laughs> this one's tiny. Is it? The Warhammer 40,000 rule book that I played with as a kid was 450 pages long. And it was oh one god. of the Their scenarios. It was one of the rule books you needed to have. Scenario guide and the battle for Terra. Oh cool. Oh the battle for Terra is on this. Alright, we should probably tweet out that we're doing this. God damn, who are these fuckers? That is the God Emperor. That's his son, Sanguinus. And that's his other son, Horus, who is, you know, the eponymous Horus mm. having a civil war against him. Basically, the Emperor is a, an abusive father, and the Horus heresy is the result of the Emperor being an abusive dick. Yeah, I kind of got the sense that there's no real good guy. There's absolutely... There, it's not just is there no good guy. Everybody is worse than Hitler. <laughs> like, every side. <laughs> that's that's Warhammer in a nutshell. Oh, boy. Everybody's worse than Hitler. Oh, and there's mm. little... Oh, Jesus. There's, there's still more pieces. Yeah, I'm sure there are. There are still more pieces. A little bit of taggies. And I can't even get them out of the box. Oh, boy. This could just be... I think... This the way I was explaining it, <laughs> this, looks like, this might it might just be story time with Robert this, as we're struggling to figure this, this game out. This looks like just a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at all these yeah. fucking pieces! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This session might be us figuring out how to play so that we yeah. can one day do it. That, that we might one day be session. able to play. I am series. okay with that. I, I hope, can I name you guys are every single one of these fucking guys. Then do it. <laughs> You're gonna have to hold that up to the camera and point at each character. I feel a little there's bit There's more! <laughs> yeah, there's There are more here. pieces! Oh, good! Hundreds of cards! <laughs> <laughs> this is an excellent sign. I know there's gonna be shit in this stuff. Uh. Oh, of oh, what the? It's 3D terrain! Hell <laughs> yeah, it is. What yeah. the shit? Look at this! Oh, there's teleporters! I'm gonna guess those are teleporters. That's a lot of them, though. Jesus Christ, there's like a base. Well, yeah, it's Terra. Is Terra Earth? Yes. But Earth and Warhammer 40,000, all the whole atmosphere and all the oceans have been boiled away. That so the whole better, planet's right? just a fortress. So and it's a fortress slash uh, temple, like a giant church fortress, mm. the whole planet. Mm. So Mutton Chops, the point was to watch us. They're like, you should have set this up beforehand. It's like, no. No, you guys have to watch this. No, you guys are going to watch us. You guys voted for this game. Yeah, you so, did. You guys are going to watch us figure this game out. This is the most complicated game I own. I don't know why this, I bought it. I think this is the most complicated game anyone owns. <laughs> this looks more complicated than like, actual 40K. I feel like you can't randomly do this. You know how the little, you see how little discs have more arrows on oh, the front of them? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what have you done, Robert? <laughs> look, at this, look at this shit. Okay. All right. Oh no! <laughs> Why did I buy this? I'm not into Warhammer. I've never played Warhammer. All right, so I think I just bought this and was like, I'm gonna get into Warhammer. <laughs> this is not the easy way to get into this Warhammer. This is not. Oh no! So do, does this like punch out and you have to do it through? Yes. Yeah. Huh. That's an odd. Decision. Factories, fortresses, and the palace. Are we are we figuring out the instructions? Yes. Okay. Jesus God. Ah. All right. The more the game board consists of two major portions: the main map board and the strategic map. Can I start punching it out? I think so. Yeah. 
So this is this all makes does this make some sort of sense to you, Robert? Yeah, I know what everything I know what everything is here. I just don't know how this this is not the same as the forty k that I play for my entirety of my youth. Right. Uh, for those of you just now tuning in, from age twelve to twenty, I played Warhammer forty thousand and Warhammer Fantasy Battles every single weekend and sometimes two or three times a week. I have probably more than a thousand models. I had an Imperial Guard tank army and a Space Wolf army and a fucking Tyranid army and hundreds of lizard men. I have spent. I probably know more about the backstory to this stupid world than I do about actual geopolitics. Who are these little characters you're punching out? Alright, so. <laughs> Alright. They have little stance. Should we move the boy? Uh, I guess it's fine right now. I don't know. I think this is Angron. Shit. Shit! Yeah, that Shit. one might be Angron. Angron? What is Angron's Israel? the Primarch of the World Eaters chapter. Which oh, are sure. That makes sense. Guy, just crazy. They're, they're, so, like, okay, so these guys are, these guys are space marines. Right? Right. Adeptus Astartes. Uh, so sure. <laughs> Alright, you want like a whole walkthrough of the whole backstory of the game <laughs> up to this point? Well, I can do that. It might take the entirety of the three hours we're here. Okay. But I can... Setting this up is going to take <laughs> some time. No, this is it. Yeah, just setting yeah. up this board. This stream will end with be like, alright, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is set up. Yeah, with us set up and ready yeah. to play and then watching U.S. Marshals instead. Yeah. We could do that. We yeah. could watch it. Always watch The back of this. All right, before you get started, Robert, the back of this. Bo <laughs> the back of this box is the best. On the thirteenth day of Secundus, the bombardment began, sure <laughs> and that makes me fucking laugh. <laughs> it's it's a ridiculous. So at its core, well, we're, I, I'm not like I get it. It's like. It's, it's it's a it's a fantasy setting. They make up their own words and something. It's just it's such a dramatic. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's such a day of sickness. Ev ev everything about Warhammer is like like the, the the whole plot's plot is basically it's a mashup of Starship Troopers, Dune, and the cover of every heavy metal album that you've ever seen. Yes. Like that's what Warhammer is at its essence. And the uh -oh. basics of the whole plot were contrived by a bunch of coked out British dudes over the course of about three years in the late 80s and early 90s. Um, is that and it's, only how old it is? I thought it was like 70s. Uh, it started in the late 80s. Uh, Warhammer 40,000 started in the late 80s. Um, Which came first, Warhammer 40k or Warhammer Fantasy? Uh, Warhammer 40k came first. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain 40k came first, and it was originally called Rogue Trader, um, and that game was set in what was retroactively determined to be this period of time, the Horus Heresy. So Warhammer 40,000, the main game that is most commonly played, is set in the 41st millennium. The Horus Heresy is an event in the history of that game that happened in the 30th millennium that set up everything that's going on in the game that so more people play. So this is a prequel. Yeah, it's a prequel, but it's turned into like one of Games Workshop's biggest money makers because they've released a whole new line of models to play games in 30k and a whole different set of rules to play games in 30k okay. and like 40 novels or something at this point, most of which are trash, some of which are really good. A lot of the Warhammer novels are written by Dan Abnett, who helped create Guardians of the Galaxy and was one of the best Batman comic writers, and he's, his Warhammer novels are legitimately good books because he's just a good writer. Um... But yeah. a lot of them, like Gav Thorpe, who's one of the guys who works for Games Workshop, his novels are fucking trash. I think terrible. Well, a lot of these novels, like I've read some of the. Again, I'm going to plug Mutant Chronicles, mm -hmm. which is the game art for him. Uh, the the Mutant Chronicles novels I read in middle school, you know, in the early '90s, uh, and then I read them. I started reading them again recently because I found cheap copies of them on eBay, and oh boy, yeah, those are not well written or even. <laughs> Like, they're they're bad to the in, at the level of the writer can't even keep track of where people are in his scene. Yeah, like people teleport across a room suddenly. <laughs> it's like he'll he'll say something like Janice stood up, and it's like Janice never sat down. <laughs> like, like real basic, the problems. real basic continuity problems in the writing. Yeah, Games Workshop has better quality control than that. It's just that like. It, uh, like, like the bad novels are just pure Mary Sue garbage. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah. <laughs> just hot trash. Yeah, they're just really bad. The good ones are, are pretty good. Like the Gaunt's Ghosts series, which is set in 40k, is like legitimately good 
military sci-fi novels. And those are Dan Abnett books. Uh, and they're fucking good. I should have brought drinks. Yeah, uh, we can have Amazon bring us drinks. I mean, I wish I'd brought Kratom now that we're, we're doing this. 40k. Oh, let's go buy Marina. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, I have a few pills, but not enough. I don't have enough for this. No. If I hadn't drank last night, I'd drink while doing this. <laughs> this is Space Genghis Khan. Is that his name? No, Jagatai Khan is his name in this. He's sure? The, he's the Primarch of the White Scars. Sure. Which are what? space mongols on bicycle, on like motorcycles. Oh, if yeah. you almost said bicycles. Well, no, that would be silly. That would be silly, Tom. Ah, yeah. oh, this game. So, Jesus Christ, listen to this paragraph, you guys. <laughs> the main map board is divided into areas. <laughs> Most divisions between areas are marked by light lines. However, the plastic fortification walls also divide areas from one another. So, for example, the Eternity Wall spaceport and Tower of Shadows are separate areas. Well, of course they are. Even though no white line separates them. <laughs> that sounds like good game design. <laughs> One of the one of the one of the truths about the unpleasant truths about everything Games Workshop does is that their models are always and their fluff is always way better than the actual rules of the game, right. which vary from year to year. And they regularly break the whole game because they'll release an army that's just it like just has powers that are yeah. fucked up. <laughs> everybody stupid. gets pissed at them, and then the next year they change everything again. And yeah, it's it's real fun. Oh man, these areas of the palace. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, you're not gonna have just one area of the palace. Right. Well, one. that star shaped thing is the forbidden fortress. Of and course. I'm, I'm here for that. What's a star? What the star shaped thing on the palace? Star shaped. Big thing. Okay. That's the forbidden fortress. Yeah, this is all the imperial palace. I'm guessing. Which the, the the middle one is, and then the small ones are fortresses, and the bigger ones, these things are factories. So the imperial palace for reference and 40k fluff takes up roughly all of Europe uh, that's, Russia so that's the entirety of I think, Eurasia yeah pretty much like the, the emperor's palace is basically all of Eurasia Jesus god um, that's ostentatious okay so like th this is a, this is a game to give you the idea of the scale of like the 40k oh, guys and little this, the spaceships like this spaceship right here uh -huh. is probably like 20 some miles long in the game and has a crew of potentially a couple of million people but they're not like it's not like a star trek thing where they all like train to be on a spaceship they're born and they die on the ship and they don't know that they're on a ship and they spend their whole life like the guns don't automatically reload thousands of men have to physically haul shells in and put them in and dozens of them will die doing it every shell that's fired Jeez. and it's just like giant slave galleys with hundreds of thousands of people loading guns manually and burning to death with the backwash of the cannon it's pretty fucking metal <laughs> it's, yeah, it's <laughs> 40, 40k is pretty fucking metal um, everybody commits genocide like every side <laughs> like, that's like the 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 Okay, so the backstory of this... Genocide is just a thing. It's just a thing people do. It's a thing people do, like, gleefully. Okay. Um, like, yeah, that's usually the case. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, what the, it's what the good guys in this were doing when the Civil War broke out. Uh, they're in the middle of a genocide? They're in the middle of thousands of genocides. Okay. So, okay, so, like, the, the basic plot, like, around the 10,000s or so, uh, humanity, the science and technology gets all awesome, humanity enters a golden age, we spread throughout the stars, millions of worlds, like, meet a bunch of aliens and create a big galactic federation that's just, everything. everything's great for a while. They build a bunch of robot soldiers and, you know, everything's good. And then the robot soldiers rebel and they eat everything and a new dark age settles on the whole galaxy and the whole federation falls apart earth is isolated and ruled over by like techno barbarian warlord nutfucks sorry the luckily the first 12 pages of this, of this rule book are all set up instructions oh good so that's that's actually kind of a relief yeah but still anyways i'm sorry continue oh yeah so like yeah there, there's this everything's fucked humanity gets like wiped out in a whole bunch of planets and mm -hmm. all, everything falls apart uh, and throughout it all there's this guy the emperor sitting on earth who's like this ageless perfect undying psychic being uh, and he's like decides these are all humans 
No, almost none of them are actual humans anymore. Oh. Um, okay. So the emperor is like an immortal god being, and he starts fucking around with all this crazy technology that people have forgot when the universal civilization collapsed. Okay. And he makes all of these these guys, these space marines. These are all like genetically modified post-human warriors. They've got like two or three hearts, and they can spit acid, and they can go into stasis in the dead of space. And sure. Yeah, they're just like monsters. Space men. marine can? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, they're like post-human monsters that... They spit are, acid? Yeah, they can spit acid. Um, they can eat rocks. They're just they're Tanks just need to be two, engineered two monster spikes. soldiers. So he conquers the whole world, and then he like makes... So each of the... There's like 20 different types of these guys that he makes. Chapters, or whatever you want to call them. And each of them... Each group of marines has like one of his sons. That's they're 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 built based off of that guy's DNA, mm -hmm. and the emperor makes twenty sons for himself. And he like builds them in test tubes, but then these evil gods like suck them away and throw them out on the random planets. Okay. And so he's like, all right, well, I don't know where my kids are, and so he he builds his his giant army back up and he flies out into space, and he just starts conquering worlds. And so like, I'm sorry, stream, these are comically tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's hundreds of them. Uh, yeah, and I've got to put them in little bases. Hey, give me some. I'll, I'll I, I, well, it's it's so specific. Oh God, really? Like because you see I the base. Oh yeah, on this, the bases are different. They have different. Did prongs. I fuck it up? This is gonna be a giant pain in the oh, ass. Oh, you did. I you did fuck tell. it up. Oh, I have to put. God, it's got little yeah. little discs that you have to put on it that indicate what kind of space marine it is. <laughs> Well, they're not. These guys Jeez. aren't all space <laughs> marines. Some of these guys are no, Imperial but the, Army. But the, but the space marines do. They have different. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, some of them are Thousand Sons and whatnot. Oh, yeah, and these guys, the Blood Angels, oh Imperial Fist, Blood yeah. Scars. Oh, good, okay. So At least they, the other ones are different They're colors. divided into chapters. So, yeah, the Emperor's sons all get shot into space, and he he take once he's unified Earth and, like, made an alliance with Mars, which... All right, so, like, technology in this. Uh, a bunch of priests that are also scientists. So, like, there, there's no new... One sure. of the rules in the Warhammer universe is, like, nobody figures out anything new. Science reached its apex, like... 10,000 years ago, and so all they're doing is finding technology and trying to figure out how to either replicate or maintain it. So, like, these big things, Titans, they can't build most of them anymore. They just maintain them, and they don't understand why. So, like, things that used to be, rule, like, maintenance guidebooks, they've turned into, like, Bibles. Okay. And so they think that, like, okay, when you're oiling this thing or, like, screwing in bolts, it's, like, a religious celebration. Like, it, like they, I mean, maintaining this thing would be pretty religious. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, like, it's all it's all fucked up and crazy. And so, yeah, the Emperor and his armies go into space, and he finds all of his sons over the course of, like, a century or so, and he gives them all armies, and they're all conquering all these worlds. How long these fuckers live? Uh, forever, basically. They, they, they don't age. Like, they're, they mm -hmm. die in battle. Um, okay. So, like, they go out into space, and they're conquering, like, they, they reconquer, like, a million worlds. And every time they run into an alien race, they just wipe it out. Without thinking or talking, like that's the emperor's policy: is aliens can't be trusted. Fuck Instant aliens. genocide. <laughs> Just kill them. All. Anytime they run into people who have attached their brains to computers in any way, they wipe them out entirely. Like there's one story in one of the books where they come across this like human civilization that has like hundreds of worlds and tens of billions of people, but they've like they're part cybernetic and they have like these huge floating computers in space that have like twenty thousand years of scientific and they just blow it all up, burn it all because they're like, oh, it's evil. Right. We, gotta, we gotta kill it all. We just murder everything. Sure. So the good these are do. these are the good guys who are who just spent like three hundred straight years committing thousands of genocides, <laughs> like wiping out multiple species everywhere they can. When find you them. say good guys, do you just mean the who where you play as? No, you play as whoever. Oh, okay. Like there's so no in actual the good story, guys. They, like there is no one to root for in the story. These are they, these are some of the less shitty guys. Got it. But not really. Like, you can make a case that the bug people who just eat everything are the least evil side in the whole yeah. story. Right. Because they're, they're just, just bug bugs. people who I guess eat I'm everything. wondering, are these, like, when the stories are told, are, they, <laughs> are, are do they tell, like, in these books and stuff? They're like, really struggling with this. Do they, do they know the people writing it that these guys are still monsters? So one of the fun or things is about... It like, is it like how the Jedi have a clone army of slaves and it's never really, like, mentioned. One of the fun things about 40K is that some of the writers and some of the guys who work there clearly view them as monsters okay. and write it as, like, isn't, isn't this fucked up? And, like, they, they get how fucked up it is. 
and some of them don't and just think it's cool. It's just and, awesome. Yeah, it's just all cool. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> so, awesome. So That's like, amazing. yeah, one of the so yeah, the the emperor is is a piece of shit. Uh, yeah. And he's so like before he had the Space Marines, he had another army of guys who were kind of similar, who t- helped him conquer Earth before he started on his Great Crusade. So wait, he's not from Earth. He's from Earth. He was born in Turkey at about ten thousand BC. How the hell did that work out? Well, okay, so now we're getting into a really, <laughs> really deep background oh, of this no. ridiculous game that I spent my whole childhood playing. But... No, I'm glad you did, because this stream would not be entertaining if you weren't here explaining that. So back in, like, the Hyperborean age, before, like, fucking... This? Before, like, fucking time existed, basically. Sure. There's all these shamans and stuff. Like, there's no countries or whatever. They're just tribes and shamans, and they interact directly with the warp, you know, which is space but magic. Mm-hmm. Um... And so, as humans start to advance... Wait. Our, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Space, but magic. I'll get into the warp in okay. a second. <laughs> okay, because I realize that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, it's magic space. It's space magic. It's space, but magic. Right, because there is magic in this universe, yeah. right? Well, kind of. But yes. <laughs> so... They're, they're all, there's all these shamans and stuff, and they realize that like as human beings are starting to figure out technology and build cities, that magic is and our ability to access magic is disappearing. So the last couple thousand of them all get together and commit ritual suicide so that they can be born in the body of one guy who becomes the emperor, who is historically is George the Dragon Slayer, is one of the people he's been. He was also Hitler. Oh. Yeah. (laughs) How was he Hitler? He was also Jesus. How? (laughs) Because he's immortal and he's a powerful psychic being who can change his appearance at will. So he he didn't he wasn't Hitler because he particularly cares about Aryans, but for whatever reason, for twelve years in the thirties and forties, he was like, I need to set things in motion, so I got to go do Hitler for a while. Same reason he was Jesus. He didn't care about Christianity. So the, he just needed that to happen. So the army we're playing, the, the the good guys in this army, the Imperial Army, is Hitler's army, like and literally Je- Jesus' army. army, and Jesus' army. Okay, yeah. He oh, might have yeah. been Martin Luther King, too. It's unclear. Oh, fuck. All right, get right <laughs> out of here. Oh, shit. It's, a, it's a silly game. <laughs> Jesus It seems God. like... <laughs> it seems like they overthought things. Well, what it is... In terms of creating the lore for a game. It was initially very simple. In, like, the late 80s, early 90s, uh, there were literally, like, 100 pages of cumulative backstory, and it was just... There's these future warriors, and they're protecting humans and there's all these aliens and like some of them yeah but but this has been going on for 30 years now right and so yeah, you they just keep, keep writing more yeah. and it's gotten ridiculous and very complicated like it was pre- it, like the early stuff was really just based on i think michael moorcock who wrote a bunch of <laughs> sci-fi books and came up with the idea of chaos um and uh dune is a big influence and starship troopers and it was pretty pretty much just that stuff but as it's gone on it's just gotten right, weirder and weirder so these guys this is the oh yeah so space but magic yes okay so faster than light travel here is done by going into the warp which you, you know event horizon yeah that's what warp travel is the warp is hell Oh, and sweet. so warp travel is just ripping open a hole through hell and flying. Through oh, okay. It. Sure. So it's and literally have... Event Horizon <laughs> had they like figured it out. From yeah, there. it's a bit, but and that's how everyone does everything. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's a casual trip through hell. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how you. That's it's like wonderful. it's like Event Hor- Horizon if they didn't learn the lesson of Event Horizon. <laughs> yeah. So or they're, if they learn the lesson, it's... they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go to hell. And we can, we can handle a little hell. Yeah, we yeah. figured out how to make shields that usually protect us from hell. Yeah, Every really hundred cool. or so trips, a ship Fire will get the... ripped open and torn apart by demons. But that's <laughs> just the, the price. Yeah, that's the price of doing business. <laughs> 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 They just keep doing it. <laughs> they never like, stop. It's like, it's like, oh shit, the server's the board of a hell. Well, then <laughs> nothing to do but continue <laughs> doing it. For tens of thousands oh of years. Oh my god. Yeah. It's nuts. It gets, it's so much crazier than all of this. Um, Does that mean if you die and go to hell, you'd like have you your might mommy get, like, watch your ship 
like the ships go by. Well, like your soul gets gradually torn apart and eaten by demons. Or if you were a big enough monster, you get to become a badass demon and go murder things. Well, that's kind like of cool. Genghis Khan exists in this still. Okay. He was a, he's a fucking bloodthirster, a demon of corn, because he killed enough people that corn was like, I like the cut of your jib, buddy boy. Corn the corn is the blood god. Oh, <laughs> blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, all that good stuff. I thought you were saying. <laughs> I heard, yeah, corn. demon of no, corn. Yeah, no, it is demon of corn. K H O R N E, though. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, we made but a lot, of, not lot like... of good corn jokes. I bet we kid. did. Yeah. I need to find all this little space marines. So, I'm wondering how many people in the chat channel were Hams fans. How many of y'all were, were Hams? Oh, there's people already. We're yeah. hamming it up. There's some people. Jarlett looks like he's into it. So, some people were saying, like, I wonder if Robert. Is making all the stuff up to fuck with us, <laughs> and then Jarlis is like, "No, <laughs> no, I know my fucking ham stuff, people. I know more about yeah. this than it never than occurred to me until right now. Right you now. could right be now. lying to me, and there's no way I would know. Like, no. hey, this guy's Hitler and Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, he's Hitler and Jesus, and uh, everybody else who was who was important might have been George Washington too. <laughs> it's, Probably, it's unclear. Could have been, um, been anyone. Could have been anyone. So the, the warp is, it's like, there's a bunch of gods in the warp. Marine. There's Korn, who's like the god of violence and murder and blood. Uh, there's Nurgle, who's the god of disease and entropy and decay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Slanesh, who's the god of weird fucking. Um, sure, that's the best god. <laughs> <laughs> Slanesh is the best god. His, his soldiers, so like, a bunch of these space marines get corrupted by the chaos gods, and the sure. ones who are corrupted by Slanesh literally carry giant weaponized guitars that they murder people with that's just cool. like bursting people's brains with oh fucking God. rock and roll all, right, it's, all these it's it's pretty pretty ridiculous um uh, Jarlo is asking is robert caught up on eighth edition stuff yeah pretty well the fluff i i haven't played the game since i was since about 2008 or 9 but i've continued to read the fluff Usually about once every year or two, I'll catch up on most of it. Bone up on my hands. So there's probably some stuff that I'm missing, but I'm especially on the Horus Heresy shit that's been going on. I'm fairly well caught up. Um, Jesus. Yeah, it's all preposterous. No, no, uh, it's it, the amount of this that I have to do. Oh yeah, and it's like. It's so particular. Like what are I, those over there? Oh, they're more. They're more. Those are the chaos guys. But it's guys. so particular. Like, I have to have a little chart in front <laughs> of me telling sure. which guy goes into what well, base. Well, of course you so do. So it's like, it would be, it's challenging to have you guys help me do this. That's what I was, like, is there some way to, like, do teamwork here? Because it seems like... I mean, I have a lot maybe. more hams to talk about. Robert yeah. can just keep talking hams. <laughs> Dave, you helped out a lot already by just making those bases. <laughs> So I played a game once, there's this thing called Apocalypse, which is 40k, but meant, like normally, like every model has a points value, and normally your battles are going to be between 1,500 and 2,000 points, which will mean, like a big army might have 100 to 150 models, but that's like a sizable force, okay. you know, I mean, I've seen, you could have some that would be more, but it's usually more like 50 to 100 models would be normal for a pretty normal that's battle. A lot. Um, yeah, it is a lot, and it's expensive. But they also there there are battles where like you can have people with like multiple six and ten thousand point armies, and you can do. I I played a game once where we had to put eight tables together that took up the entirety of a hobby shop, and took us three days to play. And there were probably two thousand models on the wow. table, including a four foot tall titan that somebody built from scrap themselves that like lit up and had like it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's to scale. Yeah. Wow. The Emperor Titan is basically like like it's like it's got like a it's like the size of a skyscraper, uh, and has guns that can wipe out cities. Because again, everything in this game is ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, everything in this game is like fucking. <laughs> Crank that shit up! Yeah, it's it's all fucking like again. The the core of this game was invented by coked out Brits. Yeah. In the fucking late eighties. So it's it's been ridiculous from the that's start. That's an actual that's an actual like epic like a time epoch is the fu the fucking eighties. The fucking eighties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Andy like... Chambers wrote a lot of the backstory, and he was just I don't know if he still is because he makes other games now, but I think he was like all into cocaine for a very long time, <laughs> and all in. it shows. <laughs> Which really is this industry see, would go hand in hand with cocaine, right? Because yeah. what are little doing models right now, now just, like just lines and painting, cocaine. Tiny yeah, little yeah. guys. Oh my god! And there's still more. Oh, there's always more. Hopefully, the others will be easier. Mm -hmm. So, okay, where was I? Um, talking about chaos gods. 
Yeah. All right. That's fine. So you got all these. You got all these gods. Oh, and then there's there's Zinch, who's the changer of ways. He's the god of, of change, um, sure. like mutations, and he's always plotting crazy shit. He's usually like the big like the people who call themselves sorcerers or worshippers of, of Zinch. Um, so yeah, there's all these chaos gods, and they feed off of human emotion. Right, and sure. so they get stronger with human emotion. Mm-hmm. And Slanesh, the god of fucking, was birthed because back before all of this happened, there was somebody was having weird sex. Well, the space elves, the Eldar, had a huge empire. Like back before the humans, when we were still like monkeys and stuff, the mm-hmm. space elves had like thousands of worlds and they controlled everything. And they had such a high standard of life that all they did was do shitloads of drugs and fuck all the time. Mm-hmm. And they fucked and did drugs so much. That they opened they so a hole in the warp and created a god of lust. They who fucked ate a him. hole. They in fucked the a warp? hole in space time that created the god of lust who ate their whole species almost. Uh, like that's, that's, some, <laughs> that's some good fucking. Yeah, that's that's some fucking. <laughs> that's uh, some solid fucking. That's some solid fucking. Okay. Fancy pants. Thanks for the bits. I'm <laughs> saying I'm sorry for being a salty bitch. I I missed whatever that was. So. Oh yeah. What? But oh, thank you. No need. I don't know. Someone in the chat. Oh. Um, but thank you for those bits. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying us. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, so okay. yeah, go on. So, so you got the you got these gods. Uh, you got these gods, and then there's the emperor who doesn't like. It. So the 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 emperor, as he establishes, first takes over Earth, and then takes over the rest of the solar system, and bloodily conquers the Imperium. It's an atheistic regime. Religion right. is outlawed. All the churches on Earth are destroyed. All the religions that they encounter throughout space are wiped out. Every church is burned. Every holy book is burned. There's no gods. Like it's it's a like a pure atheistic scientific regime. And the reason he's doing that is because he knows the chaos gods exist and they get stronger because of human emotions and stuff. And he knows they're the big enemy because they just want to eat everything. Mm-hmm. So he figures if he can get all people to stop believing in gods, period. Uh, then that will stop feeding them. And his eventual goal, so like people, the reason they feed off everything is that they exist in the warp, which exists all around everything. Like uh, the force. Yeah, like the force. And so humans can only have an interstellar empire by traveling through the warp, but he's trying to build a set of tunnels throughout a different chunk of space that would let people travel just as well without going into the warp how so he can, can kill these gods. Space? The, the elves did it. He's just finding their tunnels. Oh, okay. So that's how they used to travel around before right. there was a warp. So, anyway. Also, the emperor's a giant lighthouse, basically. So he's a powerful psychic. He's, <laughs> power, he's a powerful psychic person. <laughs> and he beams out his location into the warp so that all of the ships traveling throughout... Like a literal navigate. lighthouse? Yeah, like a literal psychic lighthouse. Okay. So the, the humans can't travel through space without the, the emperor. Like, he's always keeping a big old light I'm just, going. I'm just thinking of the, the line from the Mystery Science Theater movie where Servo's like, Crow, you big dummy, you can't tunnel through space. <laughs> I was really hoping the twist you'd be like, it's a giant lighthouse. And, I mean, they're all buildings, all the, all <laughs> all, the gods. All the they're gods all variations of buildings. <laughs> it's a dark tower just, thing. Just, yeah, it's just the dark tower. No, this is all, this is all very silly. Um, so, okay. What, where, all right, Damn. so, we get... We, this, Fucks. Space war happens. Um, Emperor finds all of his sons. Uh, some of them are cool, like Horus, who's like one of the first sons he finds. Like, is the, the, the whole premise of this this particular board game is that Horus is not cool. Well, that comes later, Tom. <laughs> Don't spoil it for everyone. Oh, okay. So Horus and the Emperor get along really well. They're hanging Jesus out. They people. conquer a bunch of the galaxy Jesus. together. That is a Thunderhawk gunship. Uh, it is a 30-man aerial transport craft that's also like a space fighter bomber. Mm-hmm. It's used for close air support and also combat transports. The actual model in 40K is about two feet long. Wow. Yeah, they're gigantic and they cost like $700. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this fucking game. Yeah, they really make their money off these fucking nerds. Uh, well, they've been in financial trouble for quite a while, actually. I don't know, maybe it's better now, but they've had some rough patches for sure. Um... Some of that, they they would have been a lot smarter if they let Blizzard make StarCraft be a Warhammer game. But, was Blizzard going to do that? Yeah, yes. well, StarCraft was initially a 40k game. Oh. It's a huge ripoff it's, of 40k. Yeah, they really, yeah. they yeah. really yeah. should have let them do that, because yeah. Yeah. that's sort of where the future is at. <laughs> that really would have paid off for Games Workshop. Yeah. But Well, now they do like the Total War series, which I guess is... Warhammer Total War is fucking fun. If you've ever wanted to play like a big scale 
fantasy strategy game with magic and dragons and shit. It's great. <laughs> All this shit. Call it hams. No, it's uh, good hams. You hams well. I'm 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 hamming. I'm trying to ham. Hamsing. I'm hamsing. Yeah, you're hamsing well. I'm trying to hams. So, hams. I am. In another twenty minutes, I may be done with this. <laughs> well, good. I've got at least twenty minutes more of backstory to get through. Oh, cool. I mean, I could talk for days about all this because we haven't even gotten to the. Full... Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, just so, talk and go. Talk. So, so the, the I emperor... told you guys this was going to be mostly story time with Robert. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's yeah. So the, the emperor finds all of his sons. They're Jagatai Khan, who's like the the this fucking Mongol warlord who conquers his planet. That's like a Mongol planet in space, and the emperor's sure. like, okay, well. Here's your Space Marine Legion. They all get bikes, I guess, and you guys can stab people with swords. <laughs> Did he just decide bikes? <laughs> yeah, that's what he liked. He liked horses. Bikes are like horses for space people. Sure, it's, fine. it's a space bike. That makes sense. Yeah. It's a space horse. They also have land speeders, like hover speeders and shit. Sure. It's all, it's all good. Sure. Uh, and then there's the, 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 the Volca Fenrica, the space wolves, which are like the Emperor's executioners, and they're like fucking space vikings. And that's who the Emperor uses when he needs his own people murdered. So there were 20 Space Marine chapters at first. There wind up only being 18. And we don't really know what happened to the other two, but, but Lim and Russ and the Space Wolves murdered them at the Emperor's orders for uh, some reason. Because he's, whenever he needs people killed, that's who he sends out to go murder the Space Vikings? Yeah, the Space Vikings. Which is who you'd use if you wanted things murdered. Yeah, that's true. Um, so. Uh, yep. Yep. So the, the Great Crusade which goes on. They conquer the whole Imperium. Everything's doing great. And then right. suddenly the Emperor's like, I'm going to go back to Earth to work on a thing. I'm not going to tell anyone what it is. Horus is in charge <laughs> work on a thing. of the army now. Yeah, that's basically what happens. And Horus is put in charge of the army. And uh, he kind of goes crazy. He almost gets killed. The chaos gods get into his soul and whatnot. And he launches a civil war, takes half of the Space Marine Legions, Massacres a bunch of his brothers at like this big betrayal thing on a planet so, called Istvan. How does he Jesus. get possessed? What happens to him? Well, there's like four books about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it is it as is it like the Star Wars prequels? Is it going to be as tragic a, a fall as as Anakin Skywalker? No, 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 no. Uh, so it's like uh, so the the whole time in this like the period before. Um, all right, so one of the Primarchs, which is the name that the Emperor gives his sons. These guys? Yeah, these are all Primarchs. One of them is Lorgar. Um, no, that's Jagatai. That's... Love that you recognize them on sight. Yeah. Well, uh, this is what I spent we, my whole we, year we, doing. We were right to do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yes, this was a good idea. Yeah. As soon as we open up the box, Robert just starts naming things. I'm like, oh, this was a good We, need a, we yeah. need a guide for something a guide like this. Yeah. Something Some of these are kind of rough. I think this guy's Lorgar. Um, so there's this one planet. I forget the name of this fucking planet. Sorry about that. Actually, Lorgar's not in it. Oh, he's not. There's so he doesn't have his own his own little model. Magnus, Mortarian, Fulgrim, Angron, oh, yeah. Sanguinus. Lorgar wasn't at Terra for the big battle. He was fighting in... Um, it's, I think you can be forgiven for... Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, so anyway, there's this guy, Lorgar, who's one of the Emperor's sons, and he grows up on this fucking planet that has a bunch of religions. And one of the religions is worship of these chaos gods that the Emperor hates. And when the Emperor comes, he's like, you're my son, I'll take you in, you're planning to come in, but you guys gotta stop it with the religions, because that's not allowed around here. And so Lorgar's like, cool. But then he's like, dude, my dad's so cool, he's basically a god, and so let's just worship my dad. Uh, and so his chapter the Imperial Heralds, I think they were called at that point, starts worshipping the Emperor, and they build this, like, whole planet in their space that they turn into a big fucking uh, church for the Emperor, right. and the Emperor finds out about him, he's really pissed. Cause right, it's like it's his, no religion. His whole thing is, no, don't fucking do that. So he sends one of his other brothers, Robut, Robute Gilliman, who's like the Ultramarines, Chapter master with oh, his sure. guys. Oh sure, I actually know that character. Or yeah. I know that I've seen that character's name. Yeah, so he goes. He they go over to this planet Monarchia that the the they turn into this big chapel to the emperor and they just murder everybody. <laughs> As like a way to say, don't well, do this. <laughs> stop it. And so, yeah. hey, hey, stop it. <laughs> that kind of turns Lorgar against his dad, and he sure. he hatches sure. a plan to corrupt Horus to chaos. And there's, like, other guys in other chapters who are also worshipping these gods in secret. And, yeah, they carry out a plan where, like, the Horus gets stabbed. And while he's stabbed, like, he's in this hallucinatory state and they do this ritual. And, yeah, fucking 
sell his soul to the chaos gods, basically. Um, They're asking a question. Oh, yeah. What's the question? Uh, Robert, do... Oh, Christian's asking, do any of these books cover the financial system of this universe? <sighs> I mean, kinda. <laughs> it's it's certainly mentioned at parts. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's definitely the most glossed over thing because <laughs> coked out British... Don't like to War think gamers about money. don't really know much about economics, <laughs> which is why Games Workshop, the company, has had a troubled past. Right, right. <laughs> which why it's which is why they try they're trying to sell child teenage nerds a seven hundred dollar metal oh, spaceship. Oh no, they, they're selling that to adults. That's for adults. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's a seven hundred dollar spaceship for adults. That was unfair of me. <laughs> that is for grown ass men. Yeah, yeah, that's. Okay, sorry. So Horace gets yeah. stabbed. He has a hallucination. He turns into a bad guy. He massacres a bunch of his brothers, and he starts a big war where he's he's murdering billions of people, and the emperors like I can murder billions of people too, and they're just murdering each other until there's a big battle on Terra when Horace tries to invade Earth and kill his dad. Uh, and there's a giant apocalyptic battle. They like blow continents apart and that's fucking... this battle. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is that battle where okay. just this massive battle. All the space marines are murdering each other. Uh, these fucking guys, little Imperial Army guys, just dying by the billions. It's just like this big... they're tiny and useless. Yeah, because they're fucking useless. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, it's just a big massacre, and finally the Emperor and his son Sanguinius and some of their, their buddies teleport onto the Vengeful Spirit, Horus's flagship. And Sanguinius, who's the Blood Angels chapter master and, like, the nicest guy in the Imperium, pretty much. He's, he's, he's got wings, but he's a cool dude. Um, he gets murdered by his brother Horus and the emperor comes in and he's like I was gonna be cool on you cause you're my kid but now I'm gonna fucking murder you now you've killed your brother so he murders Horus but Horus almost murders him and so the emperor's like horribly crippled and he has to be put on this thing called the go golden throne on earth which is like this big life support system because if he dies that's it Yeah, he's, oh, a, he's, a, he's a corpse puppet on a golden throne I don't know if chat can see that you can hold that up there if you want to. Though. Because if he dies, then the the signal he puts out into the warp that lets humanity travel through space will die, and then the whole Imperium collapses. So he's not really alive, though. He's kind of alive. So the only way he that He can't they, leave the chair. He can't leave the chair, yeah. and every day... So the Imperium has these big things called Imperium. black ships that are giant spaceships that can fit tens of thousands of people that travel through, like, their oh, millions of worlds and pick up all the psychic kids... Uh -huh. And, like, 1% of the psychic kids that they find get turned into trained to, like, fight to be in the army or be space marines or whatever. Like, 1% of them wind up serving in the military. And the rest are sent to Terra, where, like, 10,000 of them or so are murdered every day because their blood keeps the emperor alive. Like, their deaths sure. are the only thing that keep the emperor going. So, like, he's like a big space vampire okay. slash lighthouse. Okay. And the Imper the Imperium... Well, the Vampire Lighthouse. Yeah, he's yeah. a Vampire Lighthouse, and as soon as he's on the throne and he can't say anything anymore, everybody starts worshipping him, and the Imperium turns into this giant, like, Catholic church at its worst era, nightmare religious state, uh, which is where things are in 40K. Okay. Yeah. So he's been like that for a thousand years. Ten thousand. Ten thousand Ten thousand years. years. I need to learn how to count. Yeah. <laughs> he's been like that for ten thousand years. Horus is dead. Most of the other bad Primarchs are still alive and are now demon princes because they just went into the warp and got all fucking mutated and where, where else would you go at that point like, yeah after your big uprising fails like well we might as well just go to hell yeah we might as well just we're go right back there. to hell and chill there for a while <laughs> we're right there yeah and that catches you that's like the basics of of the whole plot background okay yeah yeah i feel caught up yeah, yeah. i feel caught up yeah yeah jesus christ so this is a battle yeah this is one battle. This is like the two biggest battle that ever happened. Two representing two of the sides. Right. Yeah. One of us gets to be the Imperials, and one of us gets to be Horus. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> that's how I spent my teens. Right. Okay. There's got to be more. How do you? There's so much more. <laughs> I mean, what do you want to know about? I, I don't guess. know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking Space Marines. <laughs> what kind of game is this? Is this a card game? I have no idea. I've a... never played this It version. is a board game. Board game. There board are game. some cards. Okay. It's a strategy game? It's like I Risk? Believe, yeah, By it's some, like a strategy there game. appear to be like two to three hundred cards. 
Yes. Okay. I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you uh, if you. Uh, let me just turn to the front. Of, let me turn to the components list in this rule book. I can tell you exactly how many cards there All right, are. Two questions. What's Robert's favorite chapter? And also explain Dark Elder. Oh, Dark Eldar. Eldar. Uh, favorite chapter. It's hundreds of cards. Yeah. <sighs> Correct. The world eaters are the medalist of all of the chapters because they're just so. They have a medalist name. They they yeah they they. What's, what's is that a chapter of, of what? They're they're bad guys. They're chaos. So, their their chapter master Angron. Oh, here's which the is a subtle eaters. which is a subtle name. Uh, According to the book, that's yeah yes. Yeah. So Angron, their chapter master, was like landed on some world <laughs> that did Viking or not Viking like gladiatorial type type fights, mm -hmm. and so as a kid they made him fight in the arena and they did surgery on his brain and put a thing in there that just made him horribly angry anytime he wasn't murder like well, he put it he was in horrible pain whenever he wasn't murdering people so murdering people is the only time he wasn't in pain right you can't be a guy named angron and not be angry all the time yeah yeah so he leads a civil war against the evil people who run this planet that he's on and like creates an army of all of these like gladiators and shit who want to fight against this evil regime and they're like starting to like they, 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 they're winning for a while but then the war turns against them and like right at that point in time like when things are most desperate the emperor shows up and finds his kid but he just picks Angron up and leaves his army to die without like hmm. just like knocks him out and takes him because okay. he's like I don't have time to deal with this because <laughs> he's a terrible abusive come, father <laughs> come collect your son yeah but he leaves his gang there yeah well he leaves his his army of freedom fighters trying to topple an evil regime to all be massacred so Angron doesn't like his dad very much no the, the emperor is a it's shitty his, father it's his it's his vicious cycle of anger <laughs> yeah whoa so, what was Angron <laughs> so Angron's got this thing in his head that is killing him slowly and driving him crazy and uh -huh. makes him just want to murder people like when he's introduced to his chapter the soldiers who are made off of his dna like he's introduced to like the guys who are running it until they found him and he just murders them all oh. just immediately like rips them all apart it's with a, his bare hands it's a measured response because <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a nut because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's, he's a fucking psychopath angry. yeah <laughs> Um, it's his name. Eventually, Angron. all of his warriors like get the same thing put inside their head. So they're just like furious madmen all the time who just love murdering. Uh, <sighs> okay. They're fun. They're fun. They're fun guys. All of the pieces are in. Are in That's good. Station, so. Was there another question? I also love the Space Wolves because they're fucking Vikings in space. That was their favorite chapter. Yeah. Dark Eldar. The Dark mm. Eldar are like so. There's the Eldar which are like one of the kind of non-interventionist species in this world they're the Eldar who didn't get eaten when the sex god swallowed their whole empire right. and they travel around on these big ships that are like city ships that they just that's where their whole race lives on because all their worlds get it uh, and they're kind of nice guys they're mostly trying to like not like they don't really care about humans but they're just trying not to like go extinct and not to get eaten by this god who wants to eat the rest of them are all the gods trying to eat Things. Yes, the gods are trying to eat everything. So for the gods, this is basically just like a party, and yeah. there's a bunch of snacks on the table. Everything in the whole series. And they're series just like, oh yeah, going... I want some of that sex, yeah. that sweet yeah, sex. Some of that sex. Yeah, uh, one of the themes is that like the chaos gods are kind of always winning. Um, okay. Really, because like whatever you do is they're winning exactly. They're just like this is sweet. That's why the emperor was trying to disconnect humanity from religion and the warp entirely, and like because that was the only way to kill them. Um, but that didn't fucking work. Um, oh yeah, so he fucked up and got put in a space coma. Yeah, now he's in space, fucking old folks' home. Um, the Dark Eldar are Eldar who, rather than like fighting Slanesh, uh, basically are like, well, let's just keep fucking and raping and murdering. Sure, and it's why not? I see let's no all do to stop. tons of drugs and take slaves and murder. Uh, so they're slave taking gang rapists, hmm. uh, Wait, pirate. The, the Dark Eldar are slave taking gang rapist pirates. So pirates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Survivors. They're well, nice guys. Um, I mean, they sound. Great. How does Robert feel about the Iron Warriors? They're cool as hell, man. <laughs> uh, what about, what are the Iron Warriors. Yeah, the Iron Warriors are okay. So that was what was the name of their fucking Primarch? Um, uh, Perturabo, um, because he's perturbed. <laughs> this is a very subtle that's game that's when they were coming down on the cocaine that's like <laughs> five in the morning like they saw, sun's they coming saw they up. read that shit the next morning and they were like uh, uh, we already pushed print fuck it yeah. Yeah. 
we went with this. So they're like, I guess. they're like a siege army, and they like they they like giant fucking guns and replacing as much of their body with fucking. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's that's not the Iron Warriors. The Iron Warriors are fucking Ferris Manus. No, that's the Iron Hands. There's the Iron Warriors and the Iron Hands, and they fucking hate each other. Sure. And the Iron Hands chapter master is Ferris Manus, which is just Latin for Iron Hands. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's great. Yeah. Uh, the Iron Warriors are cool. I love their, their of the Horus Heresy models, they're probably my favorite of Stardust models, because they just, they, they look fucking cool as hell. If I ever play again, I might how, wind up collecting one of their armies. How dense they get in the backgrounds, and then some of these names. The, yeah, like it's fucking it's, perturbing. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> gives a shit. Well, because in the same in the same like three paragraphs of fluff in a rule book, you'll see a reference to an ancient Babylonian deity, and then a reference to Mad Max. That's so obvious it makes you like <laughs> your face turn red. Like it's <laughs> there's no consistency. Oh my god! Like it's clearly a mix of very smart people doing subtle smart things, and other people just like, yeah, let's do some more coke. We'll call him Angron. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Angron. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you read like the Space Wolves books by Dan Ebnet, he clearly like spent hours reading about Norse mythology and learning aspects of the Norse language so he could use the right terms for things and <laughs> like. Well, he really did more work than he, he needed to. Yeah. I don't know what card this is. Traitor. Uh, oh my god, there's too many. Oh, okay. This is madness. Yeah. Any more questions? Any other questions? You guys have any other questions? I answer all your fucking hands questions. Yeah. Oh, here's Angron. Where's he at? Yeah, he's pretty fun. He's one of these guys. Oh, here he is. Because he's always angry. Yeah. He looks pretty angry. Yeah, he carries a giant chain sword axe. Chain axe. Sure, man. So everything is a chainsaw in the future. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they have chainsaw bayonets on their guns. They have chain swords, chain axes, <laughs> chain fists. These There are giant titans that have chain swords the size of skyscrapers <laughs> to fight other robots the size of skyscrapers. That's wonderful. Because Warhammer's Why great. hasn't this been a movie yet? There oh, is. Man. There's a weird German movie that got banned uh, that was not very good. <laughs> it got banned. <laughs> Lead to the Germans to make a Warhammer movie that gets banned. banned. Well, it was banned because of a, a peculiarity in German uh, intellectual property laws that meant if Games uh, Workshop allowed the movie, they would be essentially giving up aspects of their pro copyrights worldwide. It was some weird... I don't pretend to understand it entirely. I read an explanation at one point. explain orcs, but it's orcs oh, with a Z? I can explain. The f the orcs are the best... So, I was wrong when I said there are no good guys in Warhammer okay. 40k. The orcs are the good guys. So the orcs just want to have fun. They're fungus. Uh, so they don't, they don't mm -hmm. have to fuck. They just grow. And anywhere that they are, they constantly are dropping spores. So once orcs land somewhere, you never get rid of them. They keep growing underground. And then they pop up, and they're born knowing how to do stuff like make guns and build tanks and fight. And they just love it. And they're just always having a good time. They're always oh, drunk as fuck. Great. They're always murdering things. They're powerfully psychic, but not on an individual level. So when there's hundreds of thousands or millions of orcs, it's like a hive mind? they can make spaceships work that wouldn't work otherwise because they just believe it should. One of their racial beliefs is that anything red goes faster, and all of their red vehicles do go faster because they're latently psychic. Like they have all because these, they believe because they believe it. Red red ones fucking work it's like, faster. Yeah, yeah, like coloring it like a, a fire truck and being yeah, like, yeah, that yeah. goes faster. Yeah, that goes because it's red. Everybody knows that's stupid. Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucking amazing. Dick. The orcs are the best thing about 40k, and everybody knows it. Um, they're just they're just the they're just guy? great. They all talk like British cockneys. Uh, <laughs> they're all drunk, and their guns only work because they believe. Let's explain <laughs> this dude, the Fabricator General. Okay, Kelbor Hal, the Fabricator General of Mars. <laughs> this is this is right what I top like, of your head. This no, is no, what I, 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 this is why I like this is what I have instead of a college degree. Um, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I feel like you should be working for them or something. That was a dream of mine once upon a time. I yeah. tr I, uh, I sent a, a I wrote up a scenario for the Mutant Chronicles version of, of the tabletop, which was called Warzone. Mm. I wrote up a, a full scenario with like a background fiction and stuff, and submitted it to Target Games as as a middle schooler. Really? <laughs> they, wrote, they 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 said no, but they actually wrote me back. Well, that's <laughs> nice. And they were like, they said we're 
you show an impressive amount of knowledge of this universe. <laughs> <laughs> Which is their you way of saying. You know someone at the comedy guy and they're just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this kid's not going so to a lot of parties. <laughs> this kid's going to zero parties. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this kid's discovered girls quite yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a direct correlation between when I started dating and when I stopped playing so much Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say they're unrelated. No. Okay, so Kelbor Hal is the Fabricator General of Mars. Sure. So Mars is, number one, a gigantic factory. The whole fucking, all of Mars is a giant factory. But a lot of it doesn't work because it was built so long ago that it got buried or people don't know how it works. And also there's a dragon god that got buried underneath it, but okay. he might just be an ancient alien machine god, but we don't really know. Okay. So, Robert, they have a section just for you called Abstractions. Oh. Uh, many of the cards and other components in Horus Heresy abstract elements of the rich Warhammer 40k universe in ways that might from time to time uh, yes. seem to contradict the canon established. All of the canon contradicts all of the other canon. That's fucking they say, ridiculous. For example, the Drop Pods order card allows the trader player to deploy Chaos Thunderhawk flights on the board, whereas in Warhammer 40,000 it's simply not possible to convey Thunderhawks in Drop Pods. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, they shouldn't be in Drop Pods, because <laughs> Thunderhawks are orbital strike craft. And That's also, at this point in the heresy, only <laughs> Chaos would really have Thunderhawks because the Imperium was still mostly using the older Stormhawks and Storm Eagles. Sure. It says, as another example, the Port Landing Order card can be used to ferry units from Terra's spaceports to the Vengeful Spirit. But in no way does this suggest that the Vengeful Spirit is actually landing in a port to carry away troops. Well, no, because it's too big to land. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's the circumference of the Earth wall. <laughs> 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 That is absurd. How do you... What factory did they build that shit in? Giant factories in space. They just... They oh eat entire God. planets to build their fleets of ships. Like, it's 40K. It's all ridiculous. Like, the whole Ooh, generations wonderful. live and die on the ship never seeing the sun or anything. Right. Because they don't know that the world isn't the spaceship that they were born on oh, to carry bullets. <laughs> We're done uh, setting up. Now we can progress into the 25 pages of rules. <laughs> There's a glossary. Of course there is. It's a small book. And an index. Nice. I mean, of course there is. Most good rule books will have an index. Oh my anyway, God. I interrupted you while you were telling us about the Fabricator General. Got text. Oh, one sec. That's cool. No. Can I? So these can't go anywhere. I can't shuffle cards. How? All right. So scenario selection is step one of setup. Now that we've okay. made everything. <laughs> so this is insane. <laughs> Who's playing? I think you versus Robert. Sure. Because you're reading the instructions, yeah. so you'll have some sort of fucking knowledge. Okay. Of this. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Because I don't know how to play this fucking game. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. All right. Scenario well, one, brother against brother. I think that's what we're going to play. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay. Uh, there any, what, what, what was the thing? Uh, you were telling us about the Fabricator General. Oh, yeah. So Mars is like... There's different factions of the, the priests on Mars, some of whom are like... There's. Do no, you want to be... Real quick, do you want to be the Imperials or do you want to be the traitors? Uh, I mean, I'll be the traitors. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Right, I'll be I'll be space Hitler. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody's space Hitler. And yeah, we're all Hammer. space Hitler. Yeah, everybody everybody's Hitler. It's just you're all just shades of Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> Hands. <Okay>. Sorry. <laughs> right, maybe we can start setting up my pieces while you're talking. Yeah. Which I will take care of. This feels like more complicated fucking Axis and Allies. Yes. And Axis and Allies is a horrendously complicated yeah, And Axis game. and Allies well, takes as long to play as it takes to get an associate's degree. <laughs> the main part, the main, it's funny that Christian asked you about the economics of this universe, because that's the main part of Axis and Allies, is the economics of yeah. warfare. Nobody worries about like, that in this. Yeah. Anyway. They're not, the, the fluff isn't even entirely consistent on whether or not there's money. <laughs> so... Um... Yeah. So like in 40k, there's whole planets that are just billions of guys who every day sit down at a desk and enter numbers manually onto paper to be filed. 
just so they can keep track of like their dead and war zones and stuff. Like whole planets that just will do that. Just How guys, do they get the numbers to those guys? People fly it there. And, and they these, just come in and they're like, uh, six. These more. are supposed well, to no, they go give them the names like, and you write oh, okay. down on and the like, hero damage you, track, which these, is supposedly yeah. somewhere on here. Like, there's whole planets that just administer things. Oh, there you go. Hero track? I think so. Do these just each go like just this? Just put it on the first spot. Oh, like this? Mm hmm. Sorry. Sorry, Robert. There's two types, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. You s it's just a stack of them? Just yeah, like just this? put them there. All right. Okay, so Kelbor House. So, yeah, there's, there's all these different fucking Martian factions. Some of them are like, there's this machine god, the Omnissiah, and we should worship the machine god, and that is what we ought to do because we like technology. And some of them are like, no, we should actually do science and try to build things again and, like, figure out how to make new stuff. And other people are like, you should be murdered for wanting to make new stuff. <laughs> um, Kelbor Howl leads the faction that's like, what if we tried to make new stuff? And the Emperor says, if you try to make new stuff, I'm going to murder everyone. And so, Kelbor Howl sides with Horus. That's the Horus. combat iteration track right here, Dave. Kelbor sides with Horus? What yeah, is this? He sides with, so Mars sides oh, with Horus. Huh. Yeah. Well, most of Mars. There's a big civil war on Mars, too. Because he's, he's an Imperial figure in this game. Oh, this might be the other... Because there... Okay, so there's... When the Civil War breaks out on Mars, this can there's Kelbor Howl on the, the bad guy side of it, or the Horus side of it. Shut but then there's another fabricator general that they appoint once he turns evil. And so there's a big mm -hmm. Civil War within Mars. Because like, there's a big faction that supports the Emperor and thinks that the Emperor is the machine god. Um, this is your combat deck and anyway. hero combat the deck. Chat was talking about who you are, Robert. <laughs> yes. And just said, like, I'm pretty sure he's drugged a bunch of people on camera before. <laughs> it's like, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. what... That's the guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good time. Yeah, I'm sure this is fun for everybody. No, it is. I am I think they're No, this is great, yeah. Too. Uh, okay. So, any other questions? Yeah, just keep talking. Oh, thanks for that sub. Oh, word. We get a sub for this? I think, um... I wish it would tell me. Um. Bomb your traitorous ass. <laughs> Just hold me. Hmm. Wait, what? What? Does Robert know the image of U.S. tankers playing 40K with rocks in the desert during the Gulf War? Yeah, I've seen a bunch of pictures like that. And oh, I've, okay. I've had some friends who were, like, one of my buddies, uh, Matt Giese, that I used to play with in Dallas, was a uh, National Guardsman, and when the whole We Invaded Iraq serious. thing happened, he got called up, and so he would be gone for, like, six months at a time, and then he'd come back and we would play more hams with him, and then he would go away to go fight the war more. Um, it's particularly popular among tank commanders because tanks or tank right. guys because tanks are super fun in 40k um, and yeah they're, they're, they're really ridiculous because all the tanks in 40k are based on World War 1 tanks like not modern tanks like they're all based on like the giant like clunky fucking tanks that are just like covered in guns on all the sides so it's it's very is this I know like this is this is popular where anybody where people are stuck in one place. Like I imagine, um, like I wonder if this is popular in prison. I don't think you're allowed to play this in prison. Yeah, that's How would you true. Get the that's models hard. In? Yeah. You well, need if you to have use the rules, you can use anything for the models. You could use yeah. anything for the models. Because I know that I've heard about like yeah, um, D and D in prison where they have like. Oh man. D and D would be easier. Yeah. But uh. No, I want to know if Robert ever played riffs. Yeah, I was more of a. I played a, like I, I've always preferred either Shadowrun or D and D three point three point five. Rifts was too much. I, there's so many numbers I really in to Rifts. Shadowrun. Yeah, Shadowrun is one of my favorite games. <sighs> Does this go in one of these? Uh, I don't think so. I think you just put it somewhere because then we got to start putting like fucking pieces on there. Like so, Jesus. in my head, because forty k is set. Further in the future than basically any other sci-fi. Whenever I watch or read any other sci-fi, I just imagine in my head that it's a prequel. 
like it's all taking place in the same universe, and everybody's gonna die and get turned into Nazis eventually. Right. Like that's the that's the that's the sweep of like. Jesus God. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, it's just fun for me. Anything need to be shuffled? Not Robert. Uh, uh, I, I don't think we need to worry about that. Just okay, yet. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't know. This is madness. There's so much. Yeah. This is pure. Um, well, we can start putting our little guys in these bases. Yeah, we can put anything we want anywhere we want. That's true. This is going to be real. We could just eat these figures. We, we could. could. Yeah. I used to eat a lot of pewter models as a kid. Mm. That might also be why I didn't graduate pewter? college. Pewter? Isn't that really bad for you? <laughs> yeah, <it's good. laughs> yeah. That's well, like, what pewter the doctor said. Pewter could be bad for you, right? I have pewter cups, but like I don't think they're giving me cancer. Or anything. I mean, the beauty of cancer is you don't really figure it out right away. That's true. It just sort of happens. Yeah. Any other hams questions out there? Oh, uh, all ham, sir. What's the tau? T a u. Ah, the tau. So the tau are. Some people would say the tau are the closest thing to a good guy 40k has. I argue that the orcs are good guys because they're just having a good time. They sound like they're the best. Yeah, they're definitely the best. Yeah. The Tau are like sort of a manga inspired army in terms of their actual aesthetic style. They are weird noseless aliens that are vaguely Japanese-y and like Japanese imperial in terms of their aesthetic um, but are space communists. Okay. Um, so that everything they do is for the greater good and they're the only non-genocidal race that you really come across because they actually prefer to integrate other species into their empire. So they are kind of the out. good guys. Well, I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. So the Tau used to have a bunch of fighting in between themselves until at some point in their past, a small number of special Tau came out called Ethereals who just unified the race mysteriously. And it's heavily implied that they're basically psychically dominating the entire species oh, geez. and so there's not really free will among the Tau and there because there's a small there's a civil war and some Tau that broke away and are like these guys are fucking bad news and it's fucked up because um, they have like a caste system like you're born to be a warrior or a pilot or a scientist or a builder and it's very rigid society and so like the Tau when they first came out were very much framed as like these are the good guys but the more the older they've gotten, because they're they're probably the newest, unless someone else has come out more recently, the newest race that's been introduced as a playable race. The longer they've been a part of the canon, the more fucked up they've become too. Because it's forty k, everything's fucked up and horrible. Right. That's like one of the big overarching points. Is that everything's terrible? Everything is just the worst. Where is this? This is Earth. This is Earth. This is like continental Europe like the the if I'm not mistaken the entirety of the emperor's palace is basically all of Europe and the UK there's no oceans anymore okay like the oceans were boiled away years ago and so everything is city and fortress and temple so this is where we're heading as a society yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. with climate yeah, change we're going and... right towards this yeah yeah we're hurtling towards more. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know it. <laughs> it's not. It's not the most implausible. It's. It's a more plausible picture of our future than Star Trek: The Next Generation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? What am I? What is? The, okay. That's Horus's flagship. That's a spaceship. That's going to come into play. Oh yeah. yeah. That's because that's where when Horus lost the war in the actual like cannon fluff uh the emperor teleported onto his battle barge which right. is the vengeful spirit and they fought. God. So it just said the Warhammer wiki has 5,000 pages. Of course it does. Oh, that, yeah. that can't be comprehensive if it's only 5,000 yeah. pages. This is... Oh yeah, it's madness. This is madness. Yeah, like I've spent spent so much time recently like studying up on the fighting in Yemen and like reading books and like struggling to hold facts about it in my head, but like... I remember a guy I read about in Warhammer nine years ago and, like, the magical space things he did. Like, I can tell you about... Oh, Joe the... said that's 5,000 articles. Oh, wow. That, that still seems small. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. Yeah, it's... I, I... I've spent too much time reading and playing Warhammer. And I'm ashamed. I don't know. You could just say you're a Warhammer expert. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. Right. Like, that's, that's not, not a, a thing that's to not brag about. To put on the resume. No. Because I don't do enough cocaine to work for Games Workshop. Right. 
That's like the first thing in the interview is you sit down and they're just like, they put it out. If you like, sit down and aren't doing cocaine as you walk into the room, they true. probably say you're not a right fit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus God. This is... <laughs> How you doing over there? Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> we would regularly, when playing these big games that would take three days, half of the time would be spent. You, we would have piles this tall of rule books because there's oh, the main God. rule book and there's the apocalypse, oh, the, the sword, city fight rule books, book yeah. that tells you how to fight in cities and the drop zone rule book oh, that tells you how God. to like fight like aerial like battles where people are dropping in from space and then the different books for each of the armies and you'd have to like cross index and like yep. it would hours of that <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> grown men grown men and children screaming at each other over their differing interpretations of how this tank works <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> oh, Warhammer's the best. <laughs> so there are like, I assume there's some sort of conventions or... Oh. Yeah, tons of them. Okay. Tons of them. Yeah, there's a bunch of contests and prizes and it, people people play it. It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've established that. It is, I, I'm still not figuring out like, how do we, how do you play it? Oh, so like the way you like would, with you the models, the, dice. the actual models oh, are much bigger. So like the 40k version of this guy, I think this is probably supposed to be a warlord titan. Okay. Um, the 40k version it is twenty five hundred dollars and this tall. But well, how do you play with something that tall? Well, you those it, were it very has its own sets. Yeah. It have to, they have their own set of rules. Like that, be like that one model would be the equivalent of an army. Okay. Like another guy would have like 150 models that would be maybe a fair match for that guy. Because you don't see the Titans very often in games, although maybe it's become more common now in Eighth Edition. Like if you've got if you've got six to eight tanks on the field in a battle, like that's a lot of tanks to be bringing. You know, if you've got a hundred infantry, that's a lot of infantry. Space Marine armies are commonly 40 to 50 models. Um, and so it just puts out models and they, they you fight. get you, they, you set like a point limit for the fight and okay. there's different goals like you'll have okay so this battle this table that we've spent months building is like a destroyed Stalingrad like city and we're using these special city fighting rules where you have to determine line of sight and like all this different and so like the goal is there's this temple building that needs to be captured or like you know, sometimes it's just as straightforward as these two armies meet and they're going to destroy each other. Sometimes you're playing as part of a campaign. Sometimes there's other objectives. Sometimes there's multiple sides. Like, it, it's it's a, a strategy game. And each yeah. unit has rules and a points value. And so you roll dice to determine who goes first. And then you move things and shoot at each other. And it's there's an element of randomness in it. There's an element of it that is, you know, it's not a balanced game ever. Because Games Workshop is constantly changing it. Um, and then there's an actual element of strategy that does come into play, but it's not like chess. He doesn't even mention the Necrons. Oh Jesus! Okay, so the fucking <laughs> Necrons. <laughs> so remember, so you guys were talking about some Necrons. <laughs> so you remember when I was talking about Mars earlier, and I talked about how there's yeah. a dragon god that might be just a machine god. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, way back in the day, all right? Okay. Way back in the day, before the Eldar fucked themselves into oblivion, Okay. Um, there was these flying space toads that are super psychic called the, the Old Ones, uh, and they created most of the races. Like, they created the orcs and all the... Well, I'll get to why they created the, the toads. The toads did. Space toads. Flying space toads. Okay. Um, and they're toads good guys. The toads all along. They're well, the, the gods. The, the toads are, yeah, they're, they're so adva technologically and psychically advanced that they might as well be gods. Okay. And so these space toads basically rule the galaxy for a long time. Things are great. They're actually pretty chill dudes. They, oh, yeah. like, they like other species and try to elevate them and teach them. And they meet this species called the Necrontier, who live on this shitty world. And because it's so radioactive, they don't live longer than like 40 years old or something like that. Like they die really young and their lives are garbage. And the Necrontier are just dicks and hate the, the, the Old Ones. And so they start a big war with the Old Ones and somehow manage to get good enough technology to start winning. Uh, and the fucking... The, the Old Ones create, like, the orcs and shit to fight them. And there's a big... Oh, there's these star gods, the, the Satan. And this is a little bit of the fluff that I'm walking Someone asked on. about the Satan. Oh. Yeah, the, the Satan... And I from what I hear, Games Workshop has retconned the Satan since I was... 
more in so this may not be entirely current the stuff I'm saying about the Satan sure the last I read about it the Satan are space gods who eat stars um, like they feed on stars and they realize the Necrons are pissed off and they like help them but in exchange uh, the Necrons kind of wind up enslaved to them and oh yeah the Necrons build these like machine bodies for themselves but they lose their free will and their minds and become like they look like the Terminator yeah. without a skin like it's an army of guys like that who use gauze weapons and melt and they live like there's, they fight this big war and they wipe out the old ones and then they go to sleep in tomb worlds all around the galaxy like billions of them just sleeping in giant underground pyramids that's not nice yeah, and they wake up in the 41st millennium. And also, there might be a bunch of them on Mars. There's definitely a space dragon on Mars that is the dragon that, in that famous picture, the Catholic St. George fought in fucking Turkey in the Middle Ages. Like King so the emperor George the fought dra the dragon from Mars. The, and the dragon, he oh imprisoned the God. dragon on Mars. And the dragon might also be a god of these fucking space machine sure. monsters, Terminator people. That's basically it. I'm, I, like, I, I'm, I'm not as up on the Necrons, because I know their fluff got changed, has gotten changed a couple of times. Um, so, sorry... Necron players fight. Well, they were mentioning in there eating the stars. And yeah, stuff, yeah. So. The, the Satan definitely are star-eating monster gods. Okay. Yeah, they're cool guys. One of them is the Grim Reaper. Like the the. Yeah, that he he's he's, he's the guy who's yeah death. Yeah, like, yeah. So when anybody dies, that guy shows up. No, it's just he's so old and so scary that every race creates a version of the Grim Reaper in their mythology because it's a psychic memory of how fucking terrifying he is. Got it. But he's not. He doesn't actually reap souls. He's just a monster. That's though. awesome. That's yeah, that's, awesome that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, an that's awesome pretty, thing to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so that's scary awesome. <laughs> that the psychic memory of you creates a Grim Reaper lore within every yeah. society. <laughs> Except the orcs, because the orcs are genetically incapable of fearing death. Okay. All they like to do is party and fight. And fighting is partying to them. They're like a whole species of Andrew WKs <laughs> okay. if he used guns instead of... Well, they also play rock and roll. Okay. They were asking who would be the Alex Jones of this universe. That seems like a tough question. The Alex Jones of this universe. That's a difficult question. Yeah. I mean, okay, so we want to get into some deep, stupid fluff here. Uh, there's the Illuminati in this. Uh, which are, okay, so... What are they doing in this? They're not the <laughs> Illuminati that we have Okay. Here. But there's, there's this group called the Inquisition. And I guess Alec Jones would probably be an Inquisitor. Okay. Um, so the Inquisition doesn't exist at this point in the year 30,000, but in the year 40,000, they're like, I mean, they're like the Catholic Inquisition. Their job is to stop the taint of chaos from spreading, because, like, if one guy starts worshipping chaos on one world, he can turn the whole world and fuck everything up and bring in demons. Right. And they also, some of them don't fight demons and just try to figure out how to fight aliens. Some of them are cool dudes. Some of them are monstrous assholes. Inquisitors each individually have the power to order an exterminatus, which is when the Imperium shoots virus bombs down at a planet that eat and decay everything on the surface of the planet, and so it gives off methane gas when it all rots, and they launch fire bombs and they burn the entire world into a lifeless rock. Okay. That happens like every day to some planet somewhere. Because they'll be like, oh, there's 30 billion people on this world, but we're pretty sure one of them might be a cultist. And we tried to root it out, but we just couldn't do it. Let's just wipe out the planet. It's easier. We'll just kill the whole world. It's not that important a planet. They just make food. That does sound easier. Yeah. yeah. So, the Inquisition, within the Inquisition, there's a small group that call themselves the Illuminati that right. believe that the Emperor needs to be, rather than the Emperor needing to be protected because he's the salvation of mankind, he needs to be killed. Because if he's killed, he'll be reincarnated into another body, and then he'll be able to lead humanity into another golden age. Um, so, okay. that's like one of the conspiracy theory things that may or may not actually exist within the canon of the 40k world, because it's older canon that I think came from Dark Heresy, maybe? Um, so yeah, an Alex Jones kind of guy would probably be an Inquisitor who was paranoid about the Illuminati. Okay, they were also asking before, if this game was a human body, what would be the appendix of it? I think Christian. Probably the Sisters of Battle. Okay. Sorry. They're space nuns with guns. Oh, okay, I mean, that's, that's cool. Yeah. But they're it, expendable? It rhymes. Yeah. No, they just don't get, they don't have a lot of players, because almost everyone who plays Former 40,000 is, is boy. 
right. and they have been traditionally kind of ignored by Games Workshop, so they don't get regular updates to their codex or to their models. Oh, I so see. I would say Appendix. The Dark Eldar, you could also say, are an Appendix, because they are not widely played either. They keep saying the word squats. Ah, uh, the squats. Okay. <laughs> so in an earlier, in second edition Warhammer 40,000, there was a race of space dwarfs. Sure. Called the squats. Okay. And they were space bikers who were also space dwarves and they hit things with hammers and they like made big tunneling machines and they were silly and no one played them and so Games Workshop killed them off off screen and they haven't existed since. <laughs> they, they, they went, they're like the Poochie went back to his home planet. Of, of, of <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they got eaten by the Tyranids I think is the official justification. Uh, Are they're the saying there's going to be Hall? a new yes. Sisters it's one type of Tyranid. Sisters of Battle coming 2019. Okay. Yeah. I've played Space Hulk. Yeah, Sisters, I, I don't have any problem with the with the SOBs. They're cool. They're just like, they definitely don't get as much attention as a lot of the other armies. Right. So, you, yeah. Right. But no, good for them. I hope there's plastic sisters for people to play with soon, if there aren't already. <laughs> <laughs> They're just saying they're sorry to you, Tom, for going through... You know what? It's... It's really wordy, but I'm starting to get the feeling that the actual game itself isn't oh, super complicated. It's played entirely with these cards. Oh, that's good. We play order cards to do anything. And then when we're in fights, rather than having dice to roll, we just draw these battle cards. And that's it. So, any other questions? Fucking squats. You guys got it. Here, if you want to look through, I gotta pee real quick. I mean, I can just talk for days. I know you can. I know, so just do it. I just gotta pee. I'll be right back. Oh, is it cold in here? Uh, it's, it's comfortable, but it's starting it's to get a little chilly. I was going to close that. I have a door, or a window open. Okay, easily close it. Good God. This game also says it takes a few hours to play. And <laughs> has no idea how hard he just sold me on this game. <laughs> <laughs> just Warhammer in general, or specifically Horus Heresy? I think Warhammer in general. Because I don't think Horus Heresy is in print anymore, uh... Uh, Fantasy Flight doesn't have the Warhammer license. Oh, there's a different Horus Her Her Heresy game. Yeah, yeah. I need some chips for this task. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Exterminatus. Didn't I just explain Exterminatus? That's when they... That's when they burn the whole world. They set up a virus to kill everything, and then they burn the whole world to death. Hi, Carrie. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, let's see. What's the, what's the... What else should I explain here? Oh, yeah. Tyranids. So, the Tyranids are like... Uh, the Zerg in StarCraft are, are a ripoff of the Tyranids, uh, but the Tyranids are kind of a ripoff, definitely not kind of, are 100% a ripoff of the uh, the Arachnids from Starship Troopers. Uh, the book originally, because the Tyranid models do, the first Tyranid models predate the movie Starship Troopers, and then after the movie Starship Troopers, the new Tyranid models all look a lot like the Arachnids from the movie Starship Troopers. Uh... Which, which is great. Um, so the Tyranids are space bugs that eat everything. Uh, and like that's the gist of it. Like they, they, they have these giant fleets that come from outside of the galaxy. Like one of the possibilities is that the galaxy that Warhammer exists in is the only life in the universe because the Tyranids have eaten everything else everywhere else. And so every couple of centuries, a hive fleet of just tens of billions of organisms will flood into the galaxy and just eat everything in their path until they're stopped. And their whole modus operandi is they land a giant army and they kill everybody, and then they release these little monster things that eat all of the organic matter on the planet and also all of the metals and everything useful, and then all of the monsters on the planet jump into these acid pools to get digested, and then they get sucked up into the space fleet, which then flies on to eat the next planet. Jesus. So they just eat planets all fucking day long. 
Uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of things eaten in stars and planets and people. Yeah, everything's everything's apocalyptic. Again, it's just a puff, it's a buffet. Yeah, it's a it's a giant apocalypse. Right. Thing, all the time. Good God. Yeah. Can you try these yet? Any other questions? Oh, the unwrapped starbursts. Yeah, these are great. They are sort of great. They're addictive. Addictive. And now I can't open them. Mm -hmm. It's the world yeah. trying to tell you something. I want them so bad, though. I want them inside of me. Mm. Yeah. Eat them up. I don't. I don't know anything about the Star Wars expanded universe, Christian. Uh, but I'm gonna say no. Or I'm gonna say yeah. that thing was probably a ripoff of the Tyranids. Which one? The Killips? I don't know what those are. Hmm. Got me. I mean, what's the best orc? Uh. Like, are there types of orc? Hmm. Or do they mean individual orc? What's that? You're welcome. I was happy to explain ketamine on Twitter. Um. <laughs> I mean, the best orcs probably Gaskical, Mach Uruk Thraka, the giant orc warlord who's like the size <clears throat> of a house. Because orcs don't stop growing. Mm -hmm. They just get bigger until they get killed. So the more they fight, the bigger they get. And so he's just giant because nobody can beat him. And he's the best. And like the bigger they get, the harder it is to beat him. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's unstoppable. And he's cool. Everybody loves him. So he's like the Hulk. Yeah. yeah. If the Hulk had an army of tiny hulks. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not familiar with the new orc codex, so I apologize for being behind on that. I'm um, letting everyone down. You are. It's okay. But the orc economy is better explained than the imperial economy. We know everything about the orc economy. Oh. The orcs never stop growing new teeth, and so their money is teeth, and they just knock their own teeth out or the teeth of other orcs out and use them to buy things. That's okay. perfect. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on now. <laughs> So, is it like gold where we've all decided that it's worth something? All orcs are born knowing that teeth are a good thing to use as money, because they have infinite teeth. Okay, so they've just all decided, like, this amount of... Because... <sighs> How did that start? Like, Well, the orcs were programmed by the old ones to be their perfect warriors. So that's why the orcs are born knowing how to, like, build tanks and spaceships. Oh, like right. some of them just so are born just, knowing also, how to make they it. They need a currency. Yeah. So they have been told, yeah. like, okay, yeah, your teeth. Yeah. And that's true. Is that's the easiest. I mean, I kind of wish that we did that uh, mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. it, it's way better than capitalism. Yeah. The orcs are an enlightened species. Like I said, they're the only good guys in forty k. Yeah. Hmm. It just see. Uh, they can't be worth much, each tooth. Hmm. Um, no, I don't think they are. Okay. Like, what's the exchange rate? Yeah, what's the exchange rate? Is it rate? a nickel a tooth or like I a mean, penny a tooth? Pennies and nickels haven't existed for tens of thousands of years. Sure. Which is good. But, like, within the orc economy, what's the equivalent? Yeah, do, are they... All right, is it How many paper? teeth would I need do to buy Do the teeth represent, hmm? like... You're asking a lot of money questions about how the orcs use teeth. Yeah, I'm. I'm they knock their teeth out and then buy beer and then grow more teeth and knock. But their then when teeth you out. receive the teeth, mm -hmm. you're like sweet teeth, <laughs> and you put it in like a tooth safe, and then if you have the most teeth, you're rich. Yeah, you keep it in a bag or whatever. Okay, that makes sense. Everybody starts with the same amount. Mm -hmm. We're all even when we're born. Like we, all the orcs start with. Okay, you got the teeth in your mouth, and that's what you got. Try to make more teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Teeth, it makes sense. Like I said, it's better than capitalism. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you can still get rich, but, like, do they regrow teeth? teeth? Oh, that's yeah, what yeah they talking. regrow. Yeah, they, they, they never stop regrowing their teeth. Oh, okay. No, the orc, the orc fluff is bulletproof. <laughs> I will not hear you disparage orc fluff. Oh, sure. <laughs> Everything else is very inconsistent, but the orcs make perfect sense. There, we got cat camera. Yeah, the orcs have universal basic income. It's just their mouths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you get to stay there? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna? Nope. Nope. Yes, right. they just keep ripping out their teeth and throwing them in a box to get rich. 
But other orcs will take your teeth because orcs like fighting each other because there's nothing orcs like better than fighting. Oh, kitten, please. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. <laughs> Hi, kitten. Hi. I would say the orcs are too ethical for libertarianism, words of course. There's no libertarian orcs? No. The orcs are definitely, like, more on the socialist end of things. Yeah, the tooth system? Mm hmm. Well, and every orc gets health care. What, what, what are the libertarians of this? The libertarians? Mm hmm. Probably the Dark Eldar, because all they want to do is take slaves and rape people. I keep every time you say that, I want to, I'm thinking of Garth Algar from Wayne's World. Uh, <laughs> Dark Eldar. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Okay, which chaos god is the cat? Uh, all cats mm -hmm. are Zinch because they're always plotting. Hmm. That would be my guess. Um, how a bolter works. Okay, so a bolter is. The standard sidearm or the standard main arm of the Space Marines. These guns right here. And so, for one thing, a, a human being can't fire, a normal human can't fire a bolter. It'll like break all of the bones in your chest. And these big, they're basically rocket launchers mm -hmm. that are also kind of machine guns. So, each bullet is a self propelled, rocket propelled explosive munition because they're meant for post human warfare. They're meant for shooting other things that are genetically engineered monsters in powered armor. Um, so it's great. If you shoot a normal human with a bolter, they just burst into pieces. So there are normal humans here. Yes, yeah, the Imperial Army, these guys are all normal humans. Okay. They're just kind of useless compared to... Yeah, they're just uh, sort of fucked. Like, they have las guns, which are laser rifles that, mm -hmm. like, on the upside, pretty much never run out of ammo, because you can just throw the ammunition cells into, like, a fire, and it'll recharge them. They're very durable, oh, but cool. they're, they're like flashlights. They're very, they're useless against fucking space marines. Yeah, they really seem like they've been fucked over. In like, a, a single marine will take, can easily, pretty easily <clears throat> take out a couple of hundred normal human beings what are who the are, humans, like, good soldiers. When they're not fighting, what do the humans do? Um, they're always fighting. There's never not war. Okay. They're always at it's war everywhere. War. Yeah, they're always at war everywhere, and do they're we, always sh losing. Should we order? Should we order drinks from Amazon? I already did. Oh, you did? Oh, sweet. They they're gonna take a second though. Yeah. Well, I'm on page twenty five. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they're gonna take. They, they yeah. said they'd get here like after eight. But yeah. Hero logic. If you they give a window of time. If you have spent any amount of time reading about Warhammer forty thousand fluff, an orc is the only thing that you would want to be. Because everyone else, everything else is garbage. Except for maybe like a, a, a Slanesh space marine. Right. Because like, then you can just fuck all the time and make music. Um, I guess that's pretty cool, too. But um, I think orcs probably have the most fun. By the way, in terms of drinks gotten, I just got fucking diet ginger ale and then iced tea for some reason. I don't know why oh, I did fuck that. Fuck some iced tea right up. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some sparkling water. What kind of iced tea did you yeah. get? I don't know. I got two. I got like sweetened and unsweetened. They seemed like they were like bottles like this, but who, who could tell? We have an um, important question. It's fine. Orcs don't have genitals. <clears throat> oh, how do they? Oh, no. Don't they grow out of the ground? Is that yeah, they, they drop sp They're oh, all, right, the always spores. dropping spores. So once they invade oh, a cut, like they're spraying jizz everywhere. Yeah, exactly. The orcs are constantly ejaculating everywhere that they are. Mm, that's why they enjoy themselves so much. Coming all day, mm -hmm. yeah. Just mm -hmm. coming nonstop. Mm -hmm. Good for them. That's good. Are there orcs here? No, no, there's no orcs in this game. No, they. I mean, there's orcs in this period of time in the game's history, but their big empire got beaten by Horus and the Emperor, and they're not <coughs> a factor in this. Yeah, it's got just it. there's a lot. There's some demons, um, and there's like evil space marines, but uh, no orcs. Okay. Fuck off, you bastard. <laughs> this is like. Simultaneously, the best and worst part of a oh, sleepover. No. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Oh, kitten! You get kitten. all your friends. Go, hey, we're gonna play some hams. Mm -hmm. They gotta sit here and read. <laughs> and so I spent every weekend from like twelve to twenty. Yeah. Yeah. 
every weekend for me was spent playing board games pretty I, much. I no, just Warhammer, not other games, just hams. Just, just the hams. I all I don't think there was a period of time during that like decade where I didn't have glue stuck to my hands, model glue. <laughs> sure. <coughs> Sorry, kid. Sorry. It's a horrible waste of time. I've never, yeah, I've never played this game. I know very little about this game. Well, now you know this a lot about this game. This has been very educational. Oh, yeah. I know almost nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meow. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Catch him. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> hmm. Alright. Okay. How close are we? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> any other questions from the stream? I'll, I'll talk about hams all day. Oh, yeah, just cat. keep coming up with some, some stuff. She's going to just put her asshole right on right on the strategic map. Yep. Stare right at us. Just just wiping her, her crumb, crummy asshole. <laughs> her giant asshole. <laughs> Alright. Her giant crumb laden asshole. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> <is poor. laughs> Somebody asked about Magnus the Red, who is Is he evil? Here are all the evil guys. Well, that's that's a loaded question. Yeah, here we go, that's Magnus. So the Emperor banned psychic powers. Uh, <coughs> yes, I played Battlefleet Gothica. Uh, the the Emperor banned psychic powers, like this is part of this whole no religion thing. He didn't want people fucking with the warp, didn't want him feeding, it was too dangerous. But Magnus, who is a cyclops, who's his giant, his son who's a giant and a cyclops, uh, and I think red skinned, um, sure. grew up on a psychic world where everybody was psychic and he was the best at being psychic. And so when the Emperor found him, the Emperor was like, I don't know if I like you being psychic. And he was like, but I'm so good at it. And he was like, okay, well, you can do this for a while. And so. For a while, Magnus and his army, the Thousand Sons, like, they were cool. They were all psychic. They were the really <coughs> nice guys. Their whole thing was finding books and knowledge and, like, s- learning stuff. They were, like, big space nerds, mm-hmm. psychic space nerds. And that was great. And then the Emperor held a big ca- council, which is named after the Council of Nicaea, but spelled wrong. Uh, because, again, there's a lot of hacks at Games Workshop, uh, which was, like... <laughs> Now psychics, now it's illegal to be psychic, and y'all got to stop being psychic. And so Magnus was like, "That's bullshit, man." And he went back home, and he got really angry. Uh, and <coughs> then he like was all being a psychic guy, and he realized Horus was bad, like because he was just sitting around being a psychic dude, and he figured out this plot was going on. And so he tried to warn his dad, but his dad was sitting on this. Okay, so <laughs> Bruno was talking about those fucking tunnels. <laughs> The space tunnels? Yeah. The yeah. hell? Yeah. Hell. Well, no, no. The hell, hell is the warp. Oh, hell is the, the warp. Space the space tunnels are how you can hell. travel without going sure. through the warp. So the, the Emperor is, got it. is trying to fix up these tunnels that have been out of use for thousands of years so that humans can use them and not go into the warp anymore. And that's what he left behind his army to go do. And so the Golden Throne was initially like a conduit for him to like extend his will throughout these things. He's working on building this thing. <coughs> and Magnus tries to forces his way through the Emperor's psychic defenses to like basically give him a phone call and be like Horus is gonna betray you it's all fucked up you gotta deal with this shit right but instead he opens a hole in the warp underneath the Emperor's in the Emperor's dungeons uh which are in like the fucking Himalayas right uh and so suddenly the Emperor's gotta fight this giant horde of demons and the Emperor's bodyguards are all fighting them so the Emperor's not doing much during the heresy other than fighting these demons attacking him under earth so fucking Magnus fucked everything up by trying to call his dad. But it's ultimately his dad's fault because the Emperor didn't explain to anyone anything. He just said, don't do this, don't do this, do that. And okay. then hid for years because he's a dick and an abusive asshole. And sometimes he had his kids murdered. Um, yeah. Wait, so he was fixing up... Sorry. He was fixing up the hole for the humans? Yeah, he was like, fixing up the, the space holes, the like webway. The, like the big dig in Boston? Like, is it like 
They're just he's fixing up the infrastructure. Yeah, he was he was just trying to get it to work again. So he can have more war, I assume. No, no, no. So that there can be no more war. That was his uh, okay. Goal. So there are people not having war. Well, no, because he he none of that worked out. Right, but there are people whose motivations his, aren't necessarily war related. Yeah. His motivation was to starve the chaos gods by separating human beings what from are the they, war. What are they all fighting about? Like, what are they warring over? Well, it's kind of everything. A right? couple of things. Um, okay. So one, when Horus and the other Primarchs find out that chaos exists, right. and that the Emperor lied to them about there not being gods, right. they're all kind of pissed that he was lying, their dad lied to them for forever. Um, and they also start to realize, so like back when the Emperor conquered the world, he had another army of guys that were like proto-space marines, and then he murdered them all after he won. And so this, some of the space marines start to wonder like, well, when we finally conquer the whole galaxy... Isn't he just going to murder us like he's done every time he's had a run with the guys? <laughs> so, there's some of that, too. Um, yeah. Okay, so they're, not, they're just fighting. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not fighting over land or over ideals or, like, a magic ring. No, it's they're just, all, They're just fighting. They're, the human beings are mostly fighting to not be exterminated or corrupted by yeah. chaos. Uh, Tyranids are fighting because they just want to eat everything. Orcs are just fighting because right. it's fun. They don't have any particular goals. They Who just, are they fighting? Huh? Are they fighting ev- just... Everyone. <laughs> the orcs fight everyone whenever they can for no reason other than that it's fun. So they just they were just born into the right world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's amazing. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah. yeah, they really are the heroes. Yeah, the orcs are definitely the They're heroes. They're just born like I want to fight. Oh, and everyone's fighting oh, all the time. Oh, it's good, yeah. yeah. I guess this is great. This is perfect. <laughs> Holy shit. Hams. <laughs> Fucking hams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm still reading. <laughs> have you, alright, how, how, how much of an understanding of the game have you gotten? About, uh... The best Imperial I'm getting, I'm getting Guard. Yeah. I'm getting there. The best Imperial Guard have to be the Death Corps of Krieg. It actually doesn't so, seem that complicated once you get down to it. The Death Corps of Krieg are based entirely on the German army in World War One, aesthetically. Their fluff is that they used to be a nice planet, and then uh, some of them rebelled against the Imperium, and there was a big civil war on the planet. And the guys who were pro-Imperium won, but they were so ashamed that they devoted themselves to just making soldiers for the Imperium. So instead of fucking like normal, they have these giant fake wounds, and they just grow babies and immediately train them to fight and then send them off to die. And so, like, there's stories in the fluff of, like, Death Corps commanders being like, the Space they, Marine will wait, be like... Huh? Were they babies when they sent them off? No, no, no. They, they're just... They're, they're grown to full oh, of in just a couple of years and then given a gun and a gas mask. And they're like, don't <coughs> fucking die. Okay. Uh, so, like, there'll be things where, like, a space marine commander will be like, okay, we gotta take this fortress, I'm gonna send my armored units up, and, you know, maybe we'll suffer 40% casualties breaking through this fortress, and then the Death Corps guy will be like, what if I just send my men in first so that they run out of bullets? And that's kind of how they work. The the Death Corps are great. Jesus. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Um... Jody has our Amazon order and it's heading our way. Well, Jody. <coughs> Jody! Who hmm? created. Like, is there a single name of someone who created Warhammer? No, 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 no. It was like, it's a bunch of nerds. Alright, so it was a bunch yeah. of nerds who sat around one day and was like, let's make this. Like, do we know, like, who is set, who created the name Warhammer? I have no idea who created the name Warhammer. Um, hey. I assume that information's out there. I know, like, one of the big brains behind a lot of the foundational fluff was Andy Chambers. Okay. Um, and that's, that's great. That's a super British name. Yeah. That's great, Jarlin. I hope, I, I've always thought the orcs are going to save the day, even if that just means killing everybody, because they're the best. <laughs> I got it. From everything you're telling me, I'm, the, I'm like... I like the orcs. Yeah, everybody likes the orcs. <laughs> They're just having a good time. <laughs> They're just enjoying themselves. Did Jody bring us treats? She did. I'm not entirely sure what all this is. We're 
some Canada Dry right there. Word. I don't remember yeah. ordering this much. Oh, you said you ordered iced tea, sparkling water, and Canada Dry. <clears throat> yeah. I guess that could be that much. <sighs> Dude, fucking McColl of the Tanith first would beat almost anybody in a fight, but it wouldn't be a, a melee fight. Like, McColl wouldn't let himself get stuck into a fucking melee fight. He would stalk somebody for fucking months and then shoot them in the throat when they weren't looking because they had to take a shit or something, because that's just how that fucker does. Now we're talking about the Dan Abnett books. Gaunt's Ghost Books, which actually, like, even if you don't care that much about Warhammer, there's solid science fiction military books. Dan Abnett's a good writer, good characters. It's a lot of fun. It's a little bit like, I don't know, like the 40k equivalent of the Sharps Rifles novels. They're good. Yeah, Double Eagle is the one about fucking uh, Imperial pilots, right? Dogfighting in one of the fucking different pilots. sections of the Sabat Worlds Crusades. Um, yes, I have read that novel, if that's the one I'm thinking of, where they're fucking fighter pilots and it's sick as shit. Yeah, I remember enjoying Double Eagle. I was probably still in high school when that one came out, though. <clears throat> Cool. It's fine. <laughs> Just playing with my fucking Umber Hulk, or whatever the hell it's called. This is Titan. Titan, okay. So, alright, I want to go back to Hitler. Alright. Yeah, let's go back to Hitler. Let's and U.S. History. history. Sure. So. It all, the U.S. almost doesn't come up at all in 40k fluff, because it's okay. just been, it's been dead for so long. Okay. Yeah. So I was wondering other historical things that have been changed over the, like, in this universe. Like, it's just known that the Emperor showed up throughout human history and... <coughs> Why was he shit. Hitler? Uh, we, nobody knows. Like, he just, he would p periodically show up and be somebody, like, because, presumably because whatever happened in World War II needed to happen to send humanity on the path that he wanted <coughs> us to go down. And same with Jesus. Yeah, so it may have been as simple as, like, oh, we need to have a big world war so that people will stop having world wars for a while and we'll focus on space travel, so I'm going to go be the worst guy ever for 12 years. <clears throat> Can he only be... Well, that's... A, all right, did he have to be Hitler? Or like, was he born Hitler? No, he was born a Turkish no, peasant sorry, when, in 10,000 BC. When he became Hitler, did he live Hitler's entire life? Probably. Okay. I mean, he's like fifty thousand so, years old, so it's not a lot of time. Can he be multiple things at a time, or there's no overlap? It's kind of now that, that that's that's I don't know. There's not like a direct answer to that in the fluff, but probably like presumably he could make a fake psychic simulacrum of himself to do other shit if he needed to. Got it. Like he's he's just an asshole who's always been plotting and scheming for forever. Got it. But the emperor's a real piece of shit. Is one of the core bits of 40k plot. Pretty soon to the future? A little bit. He definitely saw potential futures, but he didn't see, you know, like how bad Hitler's, things were going to happen. Did he know his Hitlering? Yeah. going to go very wrong for that Hitler eventually. I mean, it probably didn't go wrong compared based on what he wanted. Like, okay, he's a, so he's a mon like, like he's like his whole thing is genocide. He's always committing genocide. But then the Jesus, he wanted to be Jesus. Yeah, he yeah, wanted Jesus co committed comparatively fewer genocides. Yeah, but he a lot of genocides and 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 horrible things have been in the name of Jesus. That's true. So maybe he was just setting up Jesus. Yeah. So that he can. Yeah, kind of it's, and none of this is, like, 100% confirmed. There's, like, in one of the earlier rule books, there was, like, a piece of fluff that was, like, an, some inquisitor writing theories about the Emperor's <coughs> origins, and he mentions certain people that the Emperor is believed to have been in the past, and one of them's clearly Jesus, and one of them's clearly Hitler, but the names aren't used, because nobody remembers who Hitler was in the year right. 30,000, or 40,000. Um, we, we forget, I guess we would forget. Hitler. Yeah, we, everything, everything. They've forgotten how to make spaceships. They just follow instructions <laughs> and build them, but they don't know why anything that's, works. Don't know why they are. That's yeah, true. I forgot about that. Yeah, 
They they worship this machine. Yeah. They worship technical manuals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man, I wish they had added like Jesus Hitler and then like Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> it was called Stone Cold yeah. Steve Austin. Like we're we're really not right. sure about yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them is just but, really uh, random, like yeah. Lee Majors. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Oh, think yeah. he just uh, I think it was just into Chevy it. Chase. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's a weird call. <laughs> so the emperor was Chevy Chase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually, turns out we don't make it to the stars without National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, that was a critical, mm. critical stepping stone to the first <laughs> Mars colony. Yes, they've forgotten all. Of, they've forgotten how to do science, and also science is illegal. Trying to understand things is illegal. Hmm. Uh, that's that's the devil. Because trying to understand things just leads to terrible stuff. So people just... Like, they, they, they're, like, basic guns, like a plasma gun that, like, millions of their soldiers have. Nobody knows how it works. They just know how to make them. But, like, they have, like, a couple of factories that can make them. So if those factories get taken over, then they can't make that gun anymore. Oh. Because they don't know how to make it. They just have the machines still. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is there someone to repair the machines? Uh, yeah, but they just don't know why it works. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Someone asked about the Star Child. I remember reading about that. It's something to do with, like, the Emperor fucking, uh, or the Emperor has sons or something who are wandering around the universe, and you get to kill them all or something, and you, or if you kill the Emperor, then he'll be a fucking... Uh, come back as a better emperor who can save the day, something like that. I don't remember all that fluff as well. There's so much fluff. It, there's there's, there's fluff. so much. Yeah. <laughs> this ridiculous game. Yeah, they lost. They didn't. They lost magic because of science, and then they lost science. Because they invented AIs that wiped out their galactic <clears throat> spanning civilization and realized that science was too scary. Uh, and so they just stopped. They just stopped sciencing. Well, some of them did. The, There's been during some the, sciencers. Yeah, during the Great Crusade, they'd regularly run into human civilizations that had, like, solved aging and people were immortal mm. and everything. They were utopias, and they would just wipe them out. <laughs> they would just they would just eradicate the whole group because they're like oh they're doing the stuff they shouldn't be doing let's kill all of them just kill them uh, all no yeah. but like uh, okay there's no one like working those factories who knows a little bit of science there's no sciencers there's some people who try to do that like one big thing so the people who would become sciencers if everything wasn't fucked up instead are explorers who try to find technology that got lost so that we can make things that we used to be able to make back in the day right so like that's that's kind of science but there's like there's no and there's like individuals who have a scientific okay. mindset and try to figure things out like they re like when the tyranids popped into the universe they had some scientists trying to study them to figure out how to fight them but uh for the most part, it's illegal to try to learn things. Okay. This guy's just weaving in and out of the tripod. There's a lot of... Standing on the... Yeah, standing on the... Fuck. There's a lot of great uh, quotes in the various 40K books, but I think the one that, like, sums up the attitude of the Imperium is, Blessed be the mind too small to question faith. <laughs> it's just like, just be dumb. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Just be dumb yeah. and have a gun. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I could say that I wasn't stealing all of the Warhammer books I read from the internet, but I'm not going to pay six, How much? $60 a book anymore. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very expensive like, hobby. Unbelievably expensive. I'm almost at winning the game. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, almost yeah, yeah. there, guys. Okay. I need to, so, I need to, <laughs> the she's people, rubbing her asshole all over the same part of the map. Yeah, it's it's, as long as it's the same part. Yeah. For like an idea of how expensive 40k is. is little cat. Like, I wrote a whole book on doing drugs. I love drugs. I've spent a lot of money on drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't think at age 30 I have spent more money on drugs than I did from ages 18 to 20 on Warhammer. Wow. Yeah. Christian, everybody is ISIS in Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole galaxy of ISIS. That makes sense. What happened? 
<laughs> Christian was like, wait, so they're ISIS? And I was saying, well, everybody's kind of ISIS. Cam. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, the cat cam's not in the best location. I was originally going to sit there because I realized she'd probably... Well, no, she doesn't care who's sitting there. No, she's going to fuck. Lord have mercy. Okay. Yeah, it's... it's. Keep talking, man. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> i got more pages. I mean, if there's other questions, I'll answer them. I'm going to go get a drink, too. Like, I'll, I'll take... Uh, you know, I'm going to grab it. Because huh? I need one too. Oh, okay. And it's easier for so me to just grab it. Yeah. Thank you for those bits. Uh, oh, yeah. Thanks. What do you want? Oh, Robert, what do you want? Um, ginger ale sounds great. Yay, what do you guys want Robert ale. to drink? There's the real question. Oh, uh, I got drunk and broke things in Santa Monica last night, so oh, I'm going to avoid that for right now. That's kind of what happens with you. I found an open bike lock and I just locked the gate to someone's house with it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that this trip could be used as evidence later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe if they're listening. That's true. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Blood Angels. Well, what's there to say about so? The, the Blood Angels are like the less, sh some of the less shitty guys. Uh, so they're, they're I, I don't think they're as interesting, but they, they've got a neat aesthetic. They've got like this horrible, <clears throat> so like the, all of the different chapters, whatever the Primarch they're based off of, they have like characteristics of that guy because he's basically their dad. Um, and the Blood Angels Primarch is Sanguinius, who's like the best of the Primarchs. He's got all these, he's got wings and shit. But for whatever reason, his he some of his people basically become vampires and like go crazy and murderous monsters. For whatever reason, yeah, for, it's just it's 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 fucking Warhammer. All right. Um. So like, there's a reason given. No, no, they don't know. Like, oh, okay. it, it's, it's just like a flaw in their gene seed. So like, space space marines are all child soldiers. So you pick these kids out when they're... And they're all picked out in different ways. But when they're like 10 or 12 or something is best. Because you don't want them to have gone through clones. puberty. No. Oh. Um, no. Yeah, you want to harness that puberty. Because <laughs> usually most of them will try to find the the best people. like Because you got to like pass a bunch of physical tests and be really badass. For the fucking space wolves, you have to like almost die in battle. And like the warriors who basically would die get picked up. If they were cool enough and their <laughs> lives are saved, then they, they were get. Cool enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the Imperium takes children and cuts them open and shoves a bunch of organs into them and a gene seed that mutates them into monsters. Oh. Um, and also withers their genitals so that they have no sexual impulse and can't fuck or even conceive of. That sex. is nicer to do that before puberty than after, I think. Because you don't want to—they don't want to get a little bit of puberty and then their genitals wither. Okay, Jarlin is saying the the Blood Angels fuck up is because chaos tainted them or whatever. Chaos tainted them. Like, what? What? Yeah, you fuck it. <laughs> uh, chaos taint tainted them. Yeah, chaos. Just chaos did it is a good general oh, okay. explanation for any weird thing happening in fucking forty k. It's some fucking chaos. Chaos. Something. Um, yeah, and fucking Sanguinius is tainted, which is why he has the wings, but he was also, like, the least shitty of all the Primarchs, except for maybe Gilliman. But Gilliman was an arrogant prick. So, suck on that, Ultramarines, motherfucking nice. fanboys. I love the word <laughs> The Sal- okay, no, you're right, you're right. Someone brought up the Salamanders. Maybe the Salamanders are the, the, the best, because, like, they're- are they, Who are they? Well, they're Primarch- the Salamanders are, one for one thing, the only Space Marine chapter with black guys in it. Um, and pretty much, wow. yeah. <laughs> so we're still doing that, huh? It's well, fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have the uh, the salamanders have existed as long as the space marine chapters have, but they 40, didn't. Forty thousand years in the future, we're still, <laughs> yeah. 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 Still, still doing that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, their primarch. What the fuck was his name? Um, Vulcan. Uh, they live on like a volcanic world and they're all they like forging stuff and fighting giant fire breathing lizards and anyway Vulcan's a nice guy like he, he's the guy that the emperor was like oh maybe this guy should take over for me because he's nice 
but then he got murdered a bunch, but he also can't die. It's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Someone asked where all the drugs are. I'm not... I mean... In the, in the apartment, or...? In no, the, it's, someone said, wait, is that Robert where all the drugs... I'm not always doing drugs. <laughs> That's not all I am. I'm also Warhammer. Yeah, I also play <laughs> hands. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know Vulcan's back and Gilliman's back, and they're doing wacky bullshit now. And now there's different How are they back after ten thousand years. Um, well, okay, so they all didn't die. So some of them, like Sanguinius, got fucking murdered. Like that's him dead right there. Um, he got like the fucking shit killed out of him oh, by horse. Oh, he's super murdered. He's super yeah, he's murdered. Fucking dead as hell. Um, and like Ferris Manus got his head ripped off. The iron, uh, iron hands. hands. Yeah, he got his fucking head ripped off. Um, so a lot of them died. Yeah, he's crazy. And Horus is dead as shit. And then he got cloned and brought back and then got murdered by his own people because they were like, fuck him. He's a dick. Uh, well, he looks like a dick. Look at him. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a gigantic he's a dick. dick. He's an even bigger he's dick than his dad. Oh, wait, hold on. Which is I just, shocking. I just turned oh, that off. All right, it's all right. No, there. You got um, Look at this huge dick. It's Horus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're super dead sanguinous. He's dead as hell. Yeah. And one of my favorite bits of the up. new fluff is that when Gilliman got to talk to the Emperor again, like, afterwards, Gilliman was basically like, yeah, my dad's a fucking shitty father. He was an asshole, and everything went to shit because he was just a terrible father who couldn't talk to his kids and, like, wouldn't, like, sit them down and say, okay, guys, here's the plan, here's what we're doing. Instead, he was like, follow me blindly, and then abandons <laughs> them. Oh, he's such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> such a prick. Well, I get to be the Emperor. Um... So it's yeah, great for me. I guess. Yeah, Vulcans and the Salamanders are the only black guys in the future. Uh, the only girls are the Sisters of Battle, and a couple of uh, Imperial Guard. This is a very. I, I have noticed that. Yeah. In my brief uh, exposures to this game over the years, is that it's a super. Yeah. White male. <laughs> oh yeah. Setting. Oh yeah. It is just white <laughs> men. Oh yeah. <laughs> It is, there are some problematic aspects to that. <laughs> it's gotten better, like the Salamander, there didn't used to be black guys in 40k, the Salamanders, most of their fluff is pretty recent, hmm. and you can see the games designers being like, oh god, everyone's white in this game, <laughs> like, we should probably try to fix that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and in fairness to Games Workshop, 40k is more diverse than Great Britain. Huh. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. (laughs) It's amazing. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the white scars are Mongolians. Yeah, they're they're cool too. I like the white scars. They have some of my some of my favorite like paint schemes that I've seen are people doing like really cool white scars armies. How does one paint a miniature? That seems Hours. really, it's really, yeah, that it's seems really, really hard. tedious. Yeah. I sometimes like the the and big models. Like I had a big tank, a, a Bane Blade battle tank. That and makes sense. I, I spent. I, I would say it was probably like two weeks of full time work to paint that tank. I mean, I did it over the course of a couple of months, but use tiny brushes. Now, if you're painting tanks, you can airbrush things, and that makes it go fast. And then you just paint the details. Like there are ways you figure out to make it go faster. I am not aware of any Hispanic anything in 40k, uh, so, Aww. yeah, it's, again, I mean, you can you can paint your Imperial Guard however you want, so, I've definitely seen right. Hispanic players who had armies that were more, like, I actually knew a dude who had an orc army that was all modeled off of Pancho Villa's raiders, it was oh. a fucking cool That's, conversion are they thing. are humans, technically, just humans are various races? Yeah, just... yeah, but... But it sucks to be you, human. You can read through thousands of pages of pictures of war, and it's all the space marines just except for salamanders are just faces. white guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Just a flood of honkies. Yeah, it's yeah. filthy just with honkies. See a fucking God white dude. Damn avalanche. <laughs> An avalanche of white dudes. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all we these white dudes. Up. <laughs> yep, about to fight our white dude battle yeah. for the supremacy of the white planet Earth. <laughs> of, the, of the white galaxy. 
Except, white supremacy except for of the, the white one galaxy. volcano planet where there are black people. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine! <laughs> you guys want to do some more cocaine? <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> this is the most cocaine thing ever. Let's listen to Iron Maiden and write for twelve hours. Oh shit! <laughs> Some Halloween. It's uh, I have no doubt the heavy metal was conceived in oh, much yeah. the same way. No, yeah. I, I and heavy metal is a major influence on Warhammer's aesthetic oh, sure. too. Yeah, sure. I had a friend growing up, um, who I still see every now and then, but he lived. He stayed. He was in the. He lived in the basement of his parents' home. Go fucking on. rec room, um, <laughs> wood paneling. Oh yeah. Blasting Iron oh, Maiden yeah. and Halloween. <laughs> just, uh, just uh, shelves full of little figurines. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped jeans like metalhead. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, someone pointed out that the Crimson Fists have a lot of Spanish surnames. So the Crimson Fists are a successor chapter. So there's. Oh, yeah, you were mentioning that one ult- ultramarine guy. Gilla- Rob- Robut- Robute Gilliman. Yeah, that's not a white dude's name. Yeah, it is. Is it? Because the Ultramarines are space Romans. Oh, yeah. yeah they're okay. they're the whitest of the white dudes in the whole galaxy. I stand corrected. Yeah. That is the whitest name. <laughs> they are unbelievably <laughs> white. <laughs> okay, fuck it. You get snow blind you stand yeah. around the fucker for too long. Yeah. There is nothing whiter than the fucking Ultramarines. <laughs> They're called the Ultramarines. They sure are. And they're just fucking white dudes. Well, because they're from the planet of Ultramar. None of that scans if you try to peel it back. (laughs) Because everyone else are called Marines. But why? Hold on. Wait, they're called... Hold on. Ultramar is their home world. They're from a planet called Ultramar. Yeah. So that's why they're called Ultramar. I didn't need that. I don't need any of this, but it's never leaving my head. I mean, like, I don't think they... They don't need that extra level of justification for why they're called Ultramarines. I would have accepted that they were just called Ultramarines. (laughs) They were just like, we want to be cooler Marines. Yeah. Like, Ultra. So they're Ultramarines. That's fine. You want to be be hype. I don't think so, Jarlin. I need need to read read my books, the, the, the books dealing with Gilliman and the Horus Heresy series, but I'm pretty sure... It was called Ultramar when he landed on it, but I'm not 100% on that. Either way, it's a silly name, and this whole game is silly. Either justification is dumb. Yeah. Like, if he named the planet, if he changed they the name of the planet Ultramar. to Ultramar to justify his name of his house or whatever it is. A space Marine chapter. His Space Marine chapter, sure. Yeah, and so now there's a bunch of chapters. Um, there's like a thousand or some odd chapters, because... So, like, during this period of time, there were only 18 chapters, and, like, they had hundreds of, the biggest ones had hundreds of thousands of space marines. Uh, and then after the Horus Heresy, Gilliman was like, that's too many space marines for one guy to have, it's just, we're just gonna keep having civil wars, so no more than a thousand per chapter. Sure. And then they're more used, because, like, in this, they're just shock troops, foot soldiers. There's millions of space marines, and they all they do is commit genocide. Right. And after the Horus Heresy, the Imperium isn't really expanding. They're just trying to hold on to what they have. And the space marines are more like S- SEAL Team 6. So they're deployed in small units. Like, you, you could send five of those guys into a war zone with millions of soldiers, and they could make an impact, because they're superhuman god warriors. Uh... My favorite race is the orcs, man. The fucking I, I get. I, I think you might, you must have come on more recently. The orcs are like they're the only good guys in the whole game. Tell me. Oh, okay. I thought you. I thought you'd close the book. I'm getting there. Oh, okay. You don't need to know any of this stuff the to actually page play is winning Warhammer. The game. <laughs> but there is like, yeah, the lore is definitely the more in, in interesting part of the game. Um, the main rule book, I think it's smaller now, but it's a couple hundred pages. And then you need to read your whatever codex for whatever race or chapter of the Space Marines you want to play. And then you, you can be done reading if you want. And you can just buy models and build an army and play. Like, you don't have to spend thousands of hours reading this shit like I have. Uh, none of that is necessary, and it won't make you a better person. And... <laughs> I regularly forget, you know, the names of the different insurgent groups fighting in Yemen, but I will never forget, like... 
In fairness, most know, people don't know the names of the different <laughs> insurgent groups fighting in Yemen. Yeah, but it's more valuable to know about the Houthis and why they're doing what they're doing than it is to understand, say, the schism in the 35th millennium that led to the creation of the Sisters of Battle. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs that information no. in their head. <laughs> but you got it. It's, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, yeah, there's certain things, it's just not, it's never leaving you. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people make good money doing it, Christian. When I was a, in high school, I would paint miniatures for money, which I would then use to buy other miniatures. Uh, Sounds like a vicious cycle. Yeah, it's a very it vicious sure cycle. Is. I have a friend who is good enough that he can, like, using green stuff, the putty that you use to add to models, he can just make models that look like their games workshop quality just with his hands and like fucking he's, he's amazing uh and he's been able to make a decent amount of money selling those skills like there's absolutely people who are incredibly talented artists who could have a professional career making art and instead make really cool warhammer models all the time so that's fun Yeah, and I think the last edition I played in was 5th edition. I started playing in 2nd edition. Um, like a little, like after Rogue Trader Days, but uh, before 3E came out. And um, I think they were on 8th edition now. So I, I'm up, I'm relatively up on the fluff because every year or two I'll steal a bunch of books from the internet and read up on shit. Uh, but I haven't played since 2008 was probably the last game I played, maybe 2007. We should change that at some point. I'm getting my model shipped over from oh, Texas. Sweet. I've got a fucking, I have enough for everyone to play. <laughs> sure you do. Oh my it's god. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. Christian and I could whip out our hero clicks figures and we could have an epic superhero miniatures battle. <laughs> so I know he's got a lot, but I have a shitload. I have a big Thanos on his with his infinity gauntlet on like the throne he makes in space it's incredible the dwarves in 40k were called the stouts and now they're eaten by bugs or squats not stouts Squat. yeah <laughs> they died off screen yeah they died off screen again they, they poochied and they were ridiculous just ridiculous so this type of gaming, it's basically when we were kids, we used to fight with action figures. Yeah, it's rules. Yeah. And we just figures. slap them together, and we just say whether we won or not. And then we grew, got older and was like, well, let's figure out some way to determine mathematically yeah. whether or not. If you want to yeah. see a 50-year-old man who had a whole career in the army scream until he's tearful and red-faced at a 12-year-old... Right. <laughs> you can play Warhammer 40,000. <laughs> that is the game to play if you want that experience. <laughs> I want that experience. <laughs> it's, it's something else. That 12-year-old probably didn't want that experience. That 12-year-old was me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes, it was. <laughs> it stuck with you ever since. That was a real, real moment for young, oh, young no. me. Oh, no. This is my favorite sentence so far on the rule book. A game of Horus Heresy involves eight decks of cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes, it does. That's fewer cards than I'd expected. <laughs> and two rule books. Oh my god. This is the scenario thing. This just shows oh, okay. us how to set it up and everything. It's not. Oh my god. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> and I think we'll actually get to play some of this. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get to finish the epic battle for Terra. <laughs> almost certainly not. <laughs> 8.30. Okay, it didn't take as long as I thought yeah. I would. I've been reading for, what, two hours? <laughs> yeah, we started around 6.30. So, reading for about two Tom, hours. some of the fucking art for 40K was really awesome and surreal. So this was just a page in a rule book that had nothing to do with any of the rules or any of the armies. That's pretty sweet. It's just fucking nonsense going oh, on. Oh, yeah, you showed me that. Yeah. yeah it's just, I, I love it. They used to have the art... Cocaine, the, I think. Yeah. they're like, hey, we need you to do some illustrations. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. The art <laughs> now is not 
is like good, better technically. Like it looks like at the things that the models look like, but they don't have any crazy. They like, replaced cocaine with computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They replaced cocaine with computers. Like if you Google, if you folks listening Google Pontifex Maximus and Warhammer, you'll find a kick-ass drawing from John Blanche that's just, just, just a beautiful piece of nonsense. Ooh, we can either of us can win immediately by killing the other's leader. So if you kill the emperor, you win immediately. Well, yeah. And if I kill Horus, I win immediately. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that checks out. But I have to fly up in your fucking spaceship. Yeah, I got a, I got a spaceship. Yeah, <laughs> I got to get up to your spaceship to kill him. Oh yeah, yeah, motherfucking John Blanche, or was it John? Yeah, John Blanche. Ooh. Yeah, John Blanche was clearly doing other drugs than cocaine when he painted. Warhammer paintings. Right. Well, it's like a base coating of cocaine. Yeah. That office was just drenched in blow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there's just a mist in the air. Yeah, everyone's doing cocaine. No one's gotten laid in seven years. Yeah. People are reading through the fucking sixth Dune book for the twelfth time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. By the way, Dune, great first book. The further in that series you get, the more it becomes clear that it's like the whole book series is just an extended schizophrenic break by Frank really? Herbert. Yeah. He's, he is fully nuts by the end of the series. I've never read them. Yeah. They're making two more Dune movies. Someone's saying the Dune books actually make sense, and I mean, okay, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I believe you. <laughs> Everything's a giant worm. I haven't read any of them. I've seen. I love the David Lynch film. Yeah. Unironically. Yeah. It's a fucking insane film, and it's not good, but it looks great. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful movie. Yeah. I'm really uh, <laughs> that's my favorite excited David Lynch for the game. new ones. It's a really take you out of the film when they go to a spice mine and it's fucking David Lynch in the spice mine. It's like we need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the worms are coming. I mean, that's David Lynch. What are He's you like doing in still space? Still wearing the shit he was directing in. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why? Why are you in space? <laughs> Who let you in space, David Lynch? <laughs> oh no. Robert, have you watched the... This is kind of off subject. Have you watched the latest season of X-Files? No. Okay. The, the What's his name? Darren Morgan? The guy who wrote all the... Um, he wrote Jose Chung's from Outer Space. He wrote all the weird ones. Okay. Um, he has an episode he wrote in this one that's amazing. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. I just... There's one part where Mulder goes out Sasquatch hunting, dressed as Bigfoot, and he calls it Squatching. <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, went out squanching. Uh, <laughs> it's like a solid fucking... It's, uh, it's every... Uh, his, his newest, his latest episodes are like... They're not... They're like spoofs at this point of the X-Files. That's good. And yeah. someone's going to tweet to me about Dune, so that's nice too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's it's been a long time since I've yelled at people about Dune. Or had Dune yelled at me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys? Uh -huh. I'll tweet you about I have, a menacing sentence. I have finished reading. I have read every word in this book. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. We can play now. Yeah. So, Tom, you've read what? A cumulative 60 some pages between the two? Uh, well, this rule book is 44. <laughs> um, so luckily, the scenario book, I don't have to read all of it. It's just like a map that tells us. Oh, good. Fucking brother against brother. There's some bitchin' art. Oh, there's a good one. Yeah, there's the Emperor, and there's the Horus. There's the Horus. Yeah. There's whoever that is. There's some guy. Some space marine guy. All right. This scenario sets the stage for a well-balanced game and roughly historical setup. That's good. <laughs> historical. You, you want it to be accurate to the actual history of the forty-first millennium or the thirty-first millennium. <laughs> Sorry. Millennium. Yeah. <laughs> Whoo, boy. <laughs> My face is red. <laughs> I feel like a jerk. Um, I might have put some. All right, before Robert, we... do you need to sit... Oh, no, I what? keep calling Tom Robert. Tom, do you need to sit here? Is it easier to sit here? Maybe. Okay. 
All right, I put these dudes in the wrong bases. I mean, before we start the game, are there any other questions about hams? Get them out now. I mean, you, you, I'm sure you can... That's right. I feel like this is the type of game where... More questions will occur as we yeah, hands. Yeah, and it's not like an action-packed game. It's strategy, right? No, yes. this looks actually unbelievably boring. <laughs> <laughs> we're really going to have to spice it up. I'm really excited that it's going to be so fucking boring. I don't have a problem with Dune. I love the first Dune book. It just becomes very clear as the books go on that Frank Herbert was powerfully ill. And that's a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> In what way? How does it manifest that? You... Um, I just... Read Dune. <laughs> it just, it just <laughs> becomes clear that he's, like, dying? Well, just that he's... It's, it's a little bit like Philip K. Dick, how you can tell if you read a lot of Philip K. Dick, like, oh, this was a sick man. Oh. But, yeah, like yeah. that sort of thing. Well, that's great that you'd listen to a podcast about practically anything, because I have a podcast coming out soon. Plug your podcast. No, I can't. Oh, you can't? No, not until uh, I'm allowed to, but okay. I have one. You'll come back and play it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's going to be on How Stuff Works, right? Yeah. Am I even allowed yeah. to say that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that much has been announced. Okay. And I will say, I had to read Saddam Hussein's romance novel in order did to... Did you have to read it, or did you get to read it? Both. <laughs> That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, he talks about bears fucking people more than you'd expect, which is at all. Yeah. 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 If, he said, if he does it more than once, that's more than I expected. <laughs> more than I would have anticipated. That crazy Saddam. Yep. Oh, plug my book instead. I have a book called A Brief History of Vice. It sent Dave to the hospital. Thank you, Dave. Sure yep. did. No problem. Um... Glad I missed that night. It's, and it's, it just came out in the Taiwanese version? Yeah the, yeah, the Mandarin Chinese edition is out now. Yeah, that, that, that cover is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> the cover, there's a lot going on in that cover. That's awesome. I love both covers now are great. It feels like whoever gets to do the covers are just having a blast. It's been different. I've got a Czech edition, too, which I should post, that's also a monkey getting drunk, and he has a hamburger for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what the Czechs were thinking. <laughs> You should have a burger. Oh, God. Yeah, we talked briefly about it the other night about your, what your book did to us. <laughs> <laughs> about the days of being I just remember... Like three days? Yeah, coming back after... Like, I left that Friday, and then I came back on Sunday, and you guys were still high on the couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jane was talking about apparently she like took us across to, like to Ralph's during that time to My like God. to like see if we could do the socialize trip. you and I was like I-, I legitimately don't remember what you're talking about like <sighs> so for those of you who haven't read the book I attempted to recreate I succeeded in recreating an Indian marijuana beverage called a bong lassie but due to some confusions on the recipe I received when I was in India and the difference in strength between American pot and Indian pot, everyone wound up eating about four grams of marijuana. Uh, High-grade marijuana. Yeah, and I should... I I mean, I said on the other one, I am a lightweight already. Yeah. I am not a lightweight, and I was hallucinating for nine hours. Yeah. Uh, I thought I was having a stroke. You coming in my room giving me the milkshake, it was delicious. (laughs) That was part of the problem. Yeah, drinking the entire thing... And then afterwards, you coming into the room like, hey, oh, yeah, you ate, so you, you drank that, huh? Um, that was a bad idea. Yeah, like, so, uh, this <laughs> is like the night, most nightmare thing. Yeah, it was like, a I waking just nightmare. Ingested, uh, it's going to really mess you up. Yeah, this was a bad idea. I tell you, I remember my, um, a friend who came over who smoked pot all the time had a small spoonful of what was left like yeah. way later and she like passed out. Well, no, we gave we gave Marina half of a milkshake that was frozen and it lasted her weeks. Yeah. yeah. Like she would just scrape a teeny bit off and it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And oh. I drank an entire one. <laughs> and it really it really upset me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it was such a nightmare. 
I don't remember much. I have had a lot of bad trips on a lot of different drugs, but that is the worst trip I've ever had. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. <laughs> it, was really, it was really upsetting. Yeah, it was horrible. Oh, upsetting. my God. Oh, and my God. Days. You went into the office the Yeah, next I went day. into the office the next day and had a meeting with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I remember later, like, talking to Dan or somebody, and it had finally come out, and he was like, wait, what was that? And I was like, oh, it's this day. Robert went to the office, and he was like, oh, that explains that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was just, like, staring straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Barely able to stand. Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Good yeah. times. It was for it was for a book. It, it, you know. It was for a book. Yeah, it was work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we expensed it. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. I know kitten. Cat's meowing. You're the cat's meow. Mm. Kitten, what's your problem? Oh, she found a bug. She's freaking the fuck out. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, four grams, Jesus. Oh yeah, there's cards attached to the back yeah. of that thing. Oh no. <laughs> you need to turn Robert's two hour Warhammer 40k explanation into a podcast. We should. Oh, That's man. a terrible idea. That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would do that in a second. Talking hams. Yeah. I'll do it if somebody will draw a picture of me as a ham talking to you guys as hams. Sure. And also there's little ham models on a table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone should make a version of this where it's just all hams. Yeah. I think Kevin the hams. worst... Drug, well, not worse, but the most intense drug experience that I ever had is I did, we had a bunch of 2CI, and so me and my friend did around 80 milligrams of 2CI, um, and 20 is a good dose, and we did 20 to 30 milligrams of 5-MeO-MIPT, which is psychoactive at about 3 milligrams, hmm. um, and then we just started smoking DMT while we waited to come up, oh, and God. it was the only time in my life I remember as I as I started to peak my friend Audrey was putting uh, vinyl records on a record player and as she set it on and the sound started to come out I watched the sound come out it was like plaid flowing out towards me and filling the room at a later part in the night we were all playing music in her music room and I had a bowie knife with me and she had a giant four foot tall bandsaw in a corner of the room. And I just started hitting the bandsaw with the bowie knife as hard as I could because the sound it made was amazing and it would send out these sparks into my face. And I could see the sparks and I could see the sound as it was like That's making awesome. noise. And then the knife broke in half. So I just grabbed the blade in my hand and kept slamming it into it. And so I gouged holes in my hand with the oh, bowie no. knife. And there was just blood and metal shavings all over the room. <laughs> Dude, where do these need to go? Oh. Are you putting them in the right place? I'm putting them where they need to go. Oh, that's bad. The most intense for me is probably... or No, the only visuals I've ever gotten was shrooms. I didn't get visuals with the... Um, I don't think I did with the milkshakes. I definitely got some, but it was... Yeah. Definitely the most intense for me was mescaline. Mescaline's a hell of a drug. Yeah, that that is exactly how they described it in Fear and Loathing, where mm -hmm. it takes a couple hours and you're like, man, this isn't working. And then it just switches on like a light. Mescaline has the most powerful sense of time dilation I've ever had with yeah. a psychedelic. Where like an hour will go by and it will feel like a day and a half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, any more hands questions? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kitten. Spaceport Damocles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Well, you see, that's that, that's clearly a reference to the Damocles Gulf campaign in the 41st millennium, which is kind of like a retroactive reference, but whatever. Are there pets in Warhammer? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, definitely. <laughs> in one of the Horus Heresy books, there's a general in charge of one of the fleets who has, like, a giant cat that's his pet. Um, I assume there's other references to pets. 
Uh, oh, and, and Lemon Russ, the Space Wolf's Primarch, has two pet wolves that are his buddies and fight with him. Oh, okay. And the Space Wolves also have... So there's other ways to have wolves with them. Yeah, yeah like, they have, they have pets. Yeah, and Dark Eldar have a lot of slaves that they fuck. Sure. Or rape. They yeah. Thomas Jefferson their way through the galaxy. Yeah. I gotta move the cards so I can put these fucking people here. Should I move this? Is it? This board game looks far more complicated <laughs> than Hams. Because <laughs> Hams is actually a pretty simple game when you get right down to it. Well, you got an Angron here. Oh, no. Angry old Angron. And perpetually perturbed Petrabo. <laughs> Let's see. There's Fulgrim. Fulgrim was the uh, uh, fucking... What the fuck did Fulgrim do? He was some sort of asshole or another. Some kind of dick. Um, some fucking no, Fulgrim dick. was the guy who thought he was really fucking beautiful. And his marines became like the rape marines who play music all the time and fuck murder everybody. Sure. Um, and like cutting each other's faces off because it gets them off. Sure. Uh, and then there's Mortarion, who is the Death Guard Primarch, who became like a demon prince of Nurgle because they all got diseases. Nurgle's the one that Garfield hates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... He keeps mailing him to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Uh... What, is, what should go... What? Those should just be like off to the side somewhere. Um, this is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, this looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, as someone who clearly loves Warhammer enough that I've been talking about it for almost three hours now. This looks like uh, too much. This looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Again, they voted for this. We have game votes. Um, and they fucking said Warhammer. <laughs> well, here we go. It's <laughs> like, all right. All right, someone mentioned the Eye of Terror in Cadia. So you remember when I talked about how the space elves fucked so much that yeah. they created a god who ate them? Right, that was great. Yeah, well, where their worlds got sucked into the gaping abyss of the, uh, the fucking warp is uh, the Eye of Terror. And it's like a big fucking murder nebula thing that's always expanding. That's like a direct portal to the warp. All right. And there's a planet right on the edge, or there was a planet right on the edge of it called Cadia that like had these weird things, pylons in it that like stopped the warp from expanding. And so the Imperium built a big fortress there, and the humans on Cadia were like some of the best soldiers in the whole fucking thing, and they were always holding back chaos. There's this asshole named Abaddon who's like Horus's successor, who launched a bunch of crusade crusades to beat Cadia. And then finally he did beat Cadia because Games Workshop or a bunch Kadia, of fucking hacks who you. decided to blow up the planet rather than abide by the rules of the actual fucking campaign. Right. Where I think Imperial victories vastly outnumbered Chaos victories. But I'm not angry at Gav Thorpe because he's a hack and a fraud, although sure. he is. <laughs> He's also not a good writer. He's written a bunch of the books, and everything he's written is garbage. Come here for the slanderous speech on the hand. Yeah, Gav Thorpe writes about as well as dead men fuck. So Gav that, Thorpe? Gav Thorpe. Is that a, some sort of... Is that a character in this? No, that's one of the guys who helped create this. Oh, okay. But he's a hack. Yes, okay. blue man, blue. Demon horde, Nurgle. ADB? What the hell is ADB? Oh, Adrian the, the Brown or something like one of the, he's one of the writers, right? Like I think he came along came along if he's the guy I think you're acronyming. Uh, he came along yeah. more recently than others. I know I've read a couple of his books if he's Ugh. the guy I'm thinking of, but yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't have an opinion on him. All right. <laughs> I've got more stuff. <laughs> he sure do. Oh my god. This looks worse than Axis and Allies. <laughs> and I I have never finished a game of Axis and Allies, and I've probably spent 50 hours playing Axis and Allies same, over the years. Same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Get all these space marines in here. Space marines! Fighting 
everybody, because I think he was flat. They're space marines. That's, this is all I They accurate. don't have testicles because the balls got <laughs> shrunk. Space marines. Yeah. <laughs> Rogue and Dorn. I'm the boss of these guys. Okay, I love that they designed this of, like, make these giant, bulky, weird figurines and then <laughs> shove it in this. Shove it in this tiny That's spot. actually very accurate to normal 40k. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shove these giant models in a tiny spot. I have to put something else in there, too. I don't think that's possible. Nope. It sure They is. should be, like, stackable or something. Or... I, feel like, I feel like fucking he should be in the center thing there. I think the Emperor's in the center. Yeah, that makes sense. He sure you. is. Space Marines! Well, <laughs> nothing goes in the script. <laughs> what an <laughs> Yeah, what an asshole thing to build. This is so bad. I'm loving this so much, you guys. <laughs> it's a real dickhead, this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, god, I love hams. I do miss hands. playing hams. What are they saying? They want to... So if, <laughs> if you want a picture of my misspent youth, I most of the weekends from 12 to 20, I would go over to my friend's house and spend two days painting Warhammer models and watching the movie, uh, what's it called? Happy Gilmore over and over again. Nice. So that was the bulk of my adolescence. That's not bad. Happy I Gilmore mean, and Hams. They go, yeah. Look, look, look at this... Look at this fucking shit. I have to have fucking five figures stacked in this little spot. Guess how many is in this big spot? How many? This one guy. Well, oh, that's a weak spot God. in the defense for sure. Why are they doing this? They they hate me. Yeah. They hate me. Right, here goes Sanguinus over here. Sanguinus! And he's he's got to have the same number of pieces as that. And I don't know how this is going to happen. <laughs> He's just fitting half the fucking Blood Angels chapter in that little star. <laughs> yeah, in this tiny little area of the palace. Space you Marines! Because there's def definite weak links in the uh, in the palace here. Yeah. <laughs> eh. Well, the great thing about Space Marines is that because their testicles were shrunken and don't work, the ones that went to Slanesh and get to learn how to fuck again mm -hmm. are just... It's a big day for them. Just, How do they learn how to fuck again Because they have they, no genitals? Because Slanesh gives them their genitals back. Oh, uh, okay. He's, he can mutate them and stuff. Oh, So they that start... Be... Fuck, everything makes them fuck. They just are just a fuck-murdering crew. Right. There. <laughs> Nothing Slanesh Slane loves more than good old fuck murder. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this is set up. <laughs> Space Marines! Nice. All right. What about all these other models? This is just like your reserve. Oh, and Jesus. And my reserve. Yeah, I you have a lot. A lot of reserves. I'll probably move, I guess, closer to the board. You want to switch? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And we're not using these event cards. We're using I these can ones. give you anything you need. Yeah, whatever. just let me know if people have any more hams questions. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I can monitor the chat. I'm so ready to hams. I'm going to see if I can ta or, or, or entice the cat to uh, to get in the cat cam. I'm not kidding. Space movies. <laughs> Fucking madness. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is bonkers. Space. <laughs> All right. I guess. They like the marines, but they live in space. Yeah. Space Marines, Space Marines. Do okay. uh, I'm just singing the Space Marines song. <laughs> okay, so actually a lot of your business is going to be, well, not a lot of it, but some of it's going to be done on this ship up there. Well, I do love ships. Mm. Okay. This is going to be a whole fucking thing. Yeah, it sure is. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, this looks like the worst. <laughs> it doesn't look like the best. I mean, it does make me feel kind of better that now, now you have a bunch of, of ham stuff stuck in your brain forever. I do, and it's never leaving me. No. Eh. 
Um, okay. <laughs> A bunch of people are leaving now that we're getting ready to play. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't have to. <laughs> yes, you we can do. We could just keep we could just keep talking about hands. We don't have to play. It, I oh, mean, no. we'll we'll give it a shot. I want to see how these eight decks of cards work. <laughs> okay. Well, the game works in that uh, you you command every unit you have. Uh, the regular units and your heroes using order cards, which are your small deck of cards. Okay. Um, you get a starting hand of... Well, here's five, but they have a little green skull in the corner. Those are the ones that you begin with. Okay. Uh, when you play orders, there's a couple of different ways you can play them. Um, you can play them directly from your hand, or you can assign them to a region. Here's your reference sheet. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. Um, basically every time you do anything, uh, you move your little initiative marker down the initiative track. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. If it goes on long enough, if we get, if one of our markers gets all the way to here, I win immediately. <laughs> oh, because I, uh, I held out. Yeah, you, the reinforced space wolves arrived and stuff. Um. Because there's no space wolves in the models. The other ways to win is... Once we pass this space on the initiative track, mm -hmm. uh, it says spaceport victory possible. You can win. Either one of us can win by controlling all four of the spaceports. Oh board. yeah, sure. You got Lions have Gate, space ports, Damocles, Kim. Primus, <laughs> sweet, Kim. and uh, whatever this one is. Yeah, Primus is very Eternity popular Wolf. in forty k universe. Boy, you're just right outside the palace with this fucking green dude. Yeah, that's more Tarion. Um. You also, that, and orders are how you do everything. It's how you make your units move. It's how you make them attack. Great. Um, and then once fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then once we attack, we use the bigger decks of cards. Dave, can you hand me those? Those two decks of cards down there? That one and then the other one. Here, pass them along. Oh, no. Here, here. It's a real nightmare. Here, pass them along. Yeah, here, this pass is along. just the, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Nope. Yeah. Um, you get to try to corrupt some of my people at the very beginning. Okay, sure. I love corruption. All right. Jesus. Oh yeah, this is a whole fucking thing. This is a whole fucking thing. This is a nightmare. Oh yeah. Corruption. Okay. There's so many models. Yeah. Look at these little baby tanks. <laughs> I think these are Bane Blades. Oh, What's right, because that, that was the main Imperial battle tank at the time. <coughs> yeah, okay. Most of the big weapon systems in Hams weren't originally weapon systems. Like the, the Lemon Rust battle tank, that's the big battle tank in 40k was like originally a mining machine or some shit mm -hmm. that they just were like we don't know how to build tanks but we got this thing what if we put a gun on it <laughs> I mean that sounds that sounds correct tactical dreadnought armor like the terminator armor like the, the big space marines was like a mining suit for people mining things that were close to suns mm -hmm. they're like well we just put guns on that it'll be great alright here's how corruption works you can pick you get to do this 12 times in the beginning of this Jesus oh yeah oh what do I draw 12? This is what I'll, I'll tell you. Christ. You pick 12 units, one at a time. It can be any one of my tanks or any one of my little army guys. Okay. The, the little army guys. So you can try to corrupt them. You make one draw for each unit that's on the board that you want to try to corrupt. Okay. I want to try to corrupt this guy. You can't do the Space Marine. Oh, I can't do the Space Marine. Just the tanks or these little guys. Oh, well, I'm going to start with this tank. This one right there. This one? Okay, so draw a card. I drew it. Uh, what symbols at the bottom? Imperial? Okay, you got him. So what we do is we take him off this base, and Dave, hand me one of the two-pronged black bases My that's empty. God. Yeah. <laughs> one of these? Oh, yeah. My God. Yeah. <laughs> you have now corrupted this unit. Oh, good. So you get to do this 11 more times. Okay. This take is 11 a, more models to try a, to corrupt. This is a fast-paced game. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm gonna try to take this tank. You can't. Just, oh, I can't take the, the tanks. Just the tanks and the little guns. Alright, I'm gonna try to take this tank. Sure. It's got a chaos thing at the bottom? Alright, so you got him. Alright. You can only do this for as many... Uh, oh, no. You have a limited number oh, of no. two-prong bases and a limited number of one-prong bases. Okay. Uh, which basically, that's like its fighting strength is how many prongs it has. Okay. Um, so you can only do that for however many empty bases you have, which you, I think you have four of the two ones. So. You don't have any more tanks. No, so you can just try to grab my little guys. I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab this little guy right here. Sure. Draw. Uh, I got an Imperial thing. So Alright, so nothing happens He stays to him. loyal. You can pick a different I'm gonna guy. I'm going to try the other guy. This guy? He gets a Chaos one, so that All guy's right, mine now. Dave, hand me a little... Hand me one of the one... the one-horned empty ones. This is just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> edge of my seat. Mm -hmm. Throw right here. Oh, yeah. How many have you done so far? That's two, three, four. Okay. Okay. You can do... Other humans. Eight more draws. I got an Imperial thing. He's fine. Okay. Human over there. In here? Yeah, I got a chaos thing. He's my guy. Hand me another base, Dave. One? Yeah. It's white knuckle, isn't it, folks? Uh, yeah, this is very, <laughs> very exciting. I've been, I've been having the cat cam be very active right now. Oh, uh, yeah. This guy? You guys are figuring it out? Do you want to yeah, get the other yeah, guy Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll try this guy now. Uh, chaos. He's my All right, hand me another base, Dave. <laughs> of the ones. Boy, that, that, that starport is not doing great. Uh, no. All right. So uh, that's all I can try over there. Um, um, I'm gonna try to turn these guys who are surrounded by two, four, space five, marines. Six, you can do seven. Oh no, nope, they're six. fine because they're next to a bunch of space marines. Probably. Okay. I'm gonna try and turn these guys. These guys are chows. Okay, they chows. They're chows. Dave, give me a black base with one uh, knife on it. Oh yeah, we haven't even started yet. This is you just taking over my dude's minds. Oh uh, yeah. How many cards have you drawn? Oh, hams. Two, three, four, five. Thanks for those six, bits. Seven, huh? eight, nine. You're giving bits for every time something happens. Like, <laughs> like okay, you get three finishing. more, three more draws. Um, this is this guy. Okay. Chouse. Chouse, Dave, give me another base. Well, that's good. That's doing well. Yeah, I mean, you're getting inside the palace. Yeah, yeah. Well, close to it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try and take. Can I take the machine guys? No. Okay, do you have any normal infantry in the palace? No, doesn't look like it. Well, they poop. thought about that. Well, poop butts. Oh, poop my and God. butts. I'm gonna try to take this guy. Oh, some dick. Chaos. All right, Dave, give me another base. He was right here. Right? Oh, Christ. Yeah. Okay. How, How many, many what are we up to? I don't know. Uh. Three, four, so this five, is actually six, more than eight seven, decks because some of these seven, cards are doing double duty as other cards. Fantastic. One more card. You draw one more time. Uh, fucking this guy. This guy. Okay. And he's chaos. Dave, give me one more chaos base. Okay. You've been stealing all. Woo! Peoples. All right. Edge of your seat. Edge of your seat. Space Marines. Everybody's Hitler in the future. Space Marines. In the <laughs> that's that's In the future, everyone is Hitler. In the grim darkness everyone of the far genocides. future, there is only Hitler. <laughs> Ken. 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 Oh, she's over it. She's over it. My God. Oh, there's supposed to be another little guy in there. That's like that weirdly right? naked. <laughs> The Imperial fucking palace. palace yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's I'm supposed to have fucking two of those things down there. Jesus. So yeah, for reference, this fortress is most of Europe. The Emperor's research lab where he made his sons is all of Mount Everest. Which really? he, hollow he hollowed out to turn into a lab. Like, actually, the whole Himalayas he are his lab. He just needed a lab. Yeah, so he used the Himalayas. Right. Yeah. Okay. Does this a traitor reference sheet? Yep. Traitor, yeah. He's the traitor. Oh, okay. Because the Horus Heresy is like a civil war, basically. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Now... 
Robert, the next riveting thing you get to do is draw four more of these cards. Fuck yeah. Well, what you, this is bombardment now. My so you're going to pick so hard. Pick an area of the board <laughs> that's not one of the forts. It's okay. not any of the fortified areas. Just pick okay. one area and then draw a, the top, the next bombardment. So card. not a fort. Not any, not any of the 3D terrain. All right. Well, this area. Okay, draw a bombardment card. Uh, well, do you want it to be... Uh, you, know, you, can, you have to pick before you draw. You can okay. either do a precise bombardment or a reckless bombardment. Precise means it's more. It's gonna be more likely to hit, but it'll do less damage. Reckless does more damage. Reckless miss entirely. Reckless. Damage. Okay. Res reckless bombardment. Okay. Yeah, you reckless bombardment. So draw and see what the reckless thing says. Uh, which is the reckless thing at the top? Orbital reckless. Five damage plus breach. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but fuck you, <laughs> you fucking titans. Um. So you have to assign damage here. Um, they have hit points equal to however many points oh, they have. Then I'll do these two. Fuck yeah, I killed a titan. So he's dead, but he has one damage. Oh, I thought it did mm. five damage. It did. You spread it out. Oh, these guys have four. They Sorry, have four, I just yeah. miscounted. What is plus breach? Breach would blast the wall of the fortification. There's a fortification there. That's true. Let me see... What that does? They're asking. Hmm. Doesn't the lab imply science? Well, yeah, the emperor was allowed to do science, oh, okay. but most of his science was just trying to figure out stuff people had figured out twenty thousand years ago, so he could create super soldiers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But also, the emperor was allowed to do science. There's one. There's a really cool short story in one of the Horus Heresy things where, like, one of the emperors guys is talking to is taking walking someone through the lab and there's a christian bible in there that mm -hmm. they've locked away and he's like yeah this is the only one left we keep it under lock and key it's important for history but things got really out of hand when we let people read that <laughs> so we just got rid of all those robert you get to pick three more areas to bomb this one again. Can't do the same one. Oh, actually no yeah, you can but yeah that's the whole reason to bombard an area and reckless again I'm only going to be doing reckless. Let me let me make sure. Uh, it's no sure. effect. Yep, there's no left another time. Okay. All right, I'm going to bomb that area again. Sure. Second time was no effect. Reckless again. Five damage plus breach. So this guy is. They're both done. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. All, all right, you've <laughs> blown my shit up. I haven't even gotten to play yet. So you guys are. He's, but you guys are playing. I'm just bombing. I'm, we're people. playing. He's possessed like half of my forces. And I mean, <laughs> he's blown I mean, up lots of my This battle robots. doesn't go well for the Imperium. They just eventually get on board the ship and murder Horus, and then mm. everything's done. All right, that was three. That was three. So you can pick one more area. Uh, well, I mean, uh, hmm, hmm. Fuck these guys. This thing, okay. Reckless again. Three damage. Do you want to kill this guy or deal the? How do, how do you want to kill do that? this guy and do one damage to the Titan? Sure. Son of a bitch. And uh, that's it. That's four, right? Oh, do I get four or five? You got four. Oh, okay. Then yeah, we're done. All right. I bombed all the times I'm gonna bomb you. Now the game can start. Hooray! So you got to get your order cards. Whee! The game is your... officially starting. The game. The game has officially started. Okay. Well, uh, I have, blood's already been drawn. I mean, our our listeners should know I am thunderously erect right now. Mm -hmm. Right, powerful, powerful erections. Yeah. Okay. Um, order card setup. Robert, go through your small deck of cards and find the cards that have a little green skull icon in the left hand corner. Oh, Jesus, I have to sort through my cards. Yeah. Christ. You don't have to. You cheat. We could all cheat. I think there should be like five. Hmm. Okay. That's. I mean, that's all I have. I'm working on it. Christ. Mm -hmm. Do Lower these ships come into play at some point? What? The ships? Yeah. They should. Oh, wait, cool. there's another that one. That actually I is... like how they make a little stand to show that they're flying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's just like the bigger models. Oh, okay. I actually had six starting order cards. I have a lot more than that. Shit. Really? Yes. All right, that's all. Hams, hams, 
Ham, 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 ham. Okay. The trader player places four of his port landing and or drop pods starting order cards at no initiative cost in any region of his choice on the strategic map. What? Okay. You take your four of your port landing or drop pods okay. starting order cards and you can place them in any region on the map. Why? Well, because the way you do things in this game is by playing order cards. Uh, when you play them, when you play them from the map, uh -huh. they cost less initiative to play. When you play them straight from your hand, you have to pay the full cost, which is however many little skull icons it has here. So, like this one, for example, mm -hmm. would cost three to play because it's got three little skulls. Okay. Um, three little skulls is my favorite children's book. Mm-hmm. So you can take from your little starting hand. Four of your port landing and or drop pod starting order cards, and then put them in any zone that you want. I know. I know. Drop pods. You can do it face down. Oh. Sure. How old is this game? How old is it? Yeah. I don't know. Late 2000s? Because I found something with the same name from 93. But it didn't have Warhammer. It was the it was the second. Okay, that's four. Okay, beautiful. Well. Okay. I'm gonna grab some chips. Do it. Cause I am very hungry. David, you could write any genre of movie that gets made. What would it be? Writing? Just in general? Treasure hunting movie, right? Treasure hunting, yeah, I guess. Are you talking about Warhammer, or just if you can write a movie? A genre. Just any. Yeah, I would say, like, if we're just talking about writing, because I love horror, but writing a horror is, I think, not as fun as making a horror film. Um, I guess it would depend. Kitten, kitten, kitten. I mean, to we be honest, really need you to not do that, kitten. if I could get any movie made, I would steal Dave's idea for a horror movie where it's kind of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids at the start, yeah. and you just see a cat in the background, and then they get shrunk and the cat murders them all. Oh, yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. yeah. That's, I'm sorry if I spoiled that. That's, no, that's, that's all right. That's a great idea for a horror oh, yeah. movie. Ganser's helping out with that. Yeah. yeah, I've always thought that's like the most... One of the most filmable ideas anyone I know has ever had. Yeah, it'd be really fun. Okay, now take your remaining port well, landing really and drop pod order cards and shuffle them into your little order deck. What? Oh, Doc, I'm not bored, actually. I was really focused on... I'm trying to get this stupid cat up here. I do what? Take the remaining drop pods or landing, whatever it was called. Port okay. landing or drop pods cards that you have in your starting hand and okay. shuffle them into your order deck. Which, which is that? The tiny deck of cards. That guy. It's behind your ginger ale. This one? Yes. But not the assemble and firefight and redeploy cards? No, just those two cards. Okay. Those two types of cards. Okay. Alright. Jesus. Yeah. Now you can play. It's almost like Games Workshop themselves made this. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated, poorly thought out garbage. <laughs> OGW. It is intensely complicated. All right. They have at the end of the book they have begin play written with a big exclamation point. It's like, and now you can play. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's like, oh thank god. What a fun oh, game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is what this is how the game is played. The game's played in little rounds in which one thing happens. The person who has initiative, which is the person whose uh, little marker is either on top from the same space or is closer to the beginning, okay. gets to do a thing, gets to do an action, which is playing an order card. Mm -hmm. Either you play it directly from your hand or you can activate an order that you placed previously in a region. Okay. Um, the advantage to doing it in a region is it only costs one point on the track. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you play it from your hand, it has to be, it has to pay full cost. But the advantage of playing from your hand is you can do it in any region you want to. If you play one that's been played face down, it has to be resolved in that region. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So like you place this card in Crucible region, 
which is this area of the map, so it has to be in All one right. of these. Well, I'm going to play that card in Crucible Region, since I see that I go first. You do go first. So why don't you flip that bitch? Okay, it's Ooh. Drop Pods. Place, yeah! Place up the three Chaos Space Marines or yeah. Thunderhawk Flights. Yes! Pile, or yes. the Animal Spirit into any area in this region. Yes! Space Marines! Shit. I'm gonna fucking thunderhawks and look at this. Anywhere it stretches all the way down there, man. All the way up. <laughs> Boom! Here. Wait, no, wait. Yeah! That's what's happening. The units may be placed in an enemy contested and/or fortified area, but not in a vengeful <laughs> spirit area or an enemy area in the palace. Yes. Okay. So what is the... oh, they have to all be placed in the same region. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay. Fuck this guy. You can place him in the fort. Fuck this guy really hard. <laughs> he got this... planes inside the fort. <laughs> this guy's not having a good day. Okay, and then this gets activated. So you put a little thing there. This goes uh, not discarded, Ugh. but... Uh... Bro, I saw you tried those peas. Yeah. They're not that great, are they're they? They're terrible. Yeah. They're I was saying, they look good. Zero flavor. Yeah. And they, like, advertise for, like, for autumn. Yeah. Like, ranch, and they're, like, weird and, like... Yeah. They're nothing. I have another version of peas that have, like, less um, bells and whistles. I think I've eaten them already. Just bad And they're peas. way better. Okay. If you're missing the boops, I give her another boop. So, because you did that from the map... Mm -hmm. That's one point, so your little thingy moves up one Yeah, and how do my guys kill you guys? Uh, that's also an order that you have to play. Oh, you gotta tell them to kill you guys. Yeah, you gotta tell them. Okay. <laughs> they should just or else they'll just look at each other. Okay, so now that god-awful thing has happened. Oh no, now we fight a coexistence battle. Oh, that's a weird name for it. <laughs> That's like what we're fighting with Nazis every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, this is complicated. Mm -hmm. Okay. It so does, Doc Garvey. Mm -hmm. We need a sponsor. We need to be sponsored by these Starburst minis and just live no. in the hellscape of just... We should Constantly be sponsored them. by an Icelandic company that only makes lutefisk. Sure. Which is that rotting fish that's been buried for months. <laughs> We're all just sitting here like... <sighs> <laughs> just vomiting in corners. Yeah, quietly vomiting. <laughs> lutefisk. Yeah. Fisk the loot. This fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody got hams questions? Questions about, or just questions about ham the meat? Yeah, ham the meat. Well, I don't eat ham anymore, but... Yeah. Jesus, God. Boop. Theme song for Warhammer should be Rudyard Kipling's White Man's Burden. <laughs> Kim game. Are you guys thrilled as Tom uh, looks up the rules for how to fight? They did predict at the start this would end with us all silently sitting here like this <laughs> until like you guys just quietly leave. Oh, those are empty. Okay, so here's how this works. <laughs> Great. This is you take your fighting deck, which is this deck. This oh, deck. good. This is one of the other decks, then. One of the other decks in this game. Wait, which deck is the fighting deck? The big, the, the big one that has more the most cards. These one, this one. Yeah, okay. that's this is for your units. If you had heroes in the fight, it used smaller cards, the smaller deck of cards. Okay. So here's how fighting works. You draw one card for each point of strength you have there. So you have 
three for these motherfuckers, and then two each for those. So you draw... Three? Three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus seven cards. Christ! I get to draw two. This is... Just have us roll dice like in the normal game. Nope. <laughs> We're going to use cards. cards. I don't know great. why they decided to do every randomization. So I draw thing with seven cards. fucking cards. You draw seven cards. Okay. Fabulous. All right. What a wonderful game. <laughs> Should I just start reading them? Blood for the Blood God? No. No. Oh. This is how the cards work the damage is up in the upper left. Uh huh. Um, defense are the little red markers on the left side. And it may also have an effect as well, uh, oh, as long as you Jesus. have the type of unit that's indicated there. This is agony. For instance. It doesn't, is it really? I guess like this one, I'm not playing one it. One point of damage. It doesn't have any icons here, so I couldn't use it to defend. Um, if I'm the defending unit, which I am, and it's because you're attacking me, Yeah. Uh, I would get to do this. Hunker down. Yeah, but I didn't draw that card. I just took it out of my deck as, your, as an example. Okay. 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 So... Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. We have eight little rounds, basically, of fighting. I probably won't last fuck? that long eight because rounds? I have a little guy. All right. So this is what you do. Uh, There's we're in, four little guys. <laughs> we have, we're in, we're in the first rounds. So you can play one card, and the second round you can play two, and third round you can play three, right. etc. Blood for the blood god skulls for the throne of corn. Okay. Uh, do you have a corn unit? Nope. Okay, but so I you do don't get three to do of that. the damages. But you do do three of the damages. Motherfucker. I can, I can play one card to try to block it. Do it. But I can't, so I'm dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> what a great game! <laughs> <laughs> I can't block all three of those damage points. Well, I can block two of them. Is there a surrender option? All right, hold on. There is, there is. Hold on. I can block two of them. Oh, you do? Okay. I can, so I'm not dead yet. All right, so I did a damage. You did a damage, but I got two. Now you do a thing? Uh, yeah, I believe so. All right. Now it's my turn to do a thing. Like I said, I'm fucking rock hard. I mean, who wouldn't be? This is... I mean, this seems like a fun enough game. I was just... The instruction... Really? No. I well, guess we're going, my, yeah. We'll see how it is once we get going. Yeah. It's just insane that so little thing like there's it's insane how much prep it seemed to take from you, Tom, to to set up this board because it doesn't it's <laughs> Yeah, Kafka esque is not a bad way to describe. <laughs> Alright. It's now round two. Um now it's my turn to hit you, basically. Um two Fuck damage. <laughs> I don't have a hero, so that's... You want to try to block that shit? How do I do that? Uh, you can, because it's the second round, you can play two cards from your hand that have these little icons on the side. And if you have at least two... Because I'm doing two points of damage to you. Like these icons? Yes. Oh, you just play that one and you block it. Yeah. Play that oh, one right. and block so. it. That's oh. done. I'm out of... It is now oh, round three. Oh, and I have three. Chaos Space Marine, so I get to do the special thing? Yeah. Oh, this is Noose of Ruin. It says, eliminate one opposing unit regardless of its rank. Five shields counter? I don't have five shields to All counter. All right, you're dead. That's how many things I would have to play to counter that. I All captured right, the Crucible Factory Complex. You did. Bitches. All right, so I'm dead. You captured that. Hooray. So discard the rest of your fighting cards okay. that you drew. That's my turn. Yeah, that's that. All right. Good time. Okay. So, Tom's turn. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You get to take this off now. Oh. Basically, when you, when you play an order in an era, you put a little marker in it. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know you can't do that until initiative changes basically okay <clears throat> you can't that like, doesn't seem necessary you can't right. tap that area until yeah i guess it'll make it'll become more i don't know i haven't even looked at what my fucking orders are The 
Is somebody playing a clarinet? Yes. It happens. These things happen. Well, I'm use the restroom where Tom figures out sure, what sure. I'm going to do. The next thing that has to happen on this game. It's a real nightmare. Yeah, it's terrible, terrible, terrible game. <laughs> They think I'm in pain. I'm not. Are you in pain? No. I'm in tremendous. I'm. I seem to be the person enjoying this the most right now. Your hands. Because I'm enjoying all of his the lore. The lore is great. And yeah. then I guess maybe watching you two <laughs> go through this, like it. Oh, nice, nice pun. Solid pun. Oh, kitten. <laughs> I could just teleport the emperor up to his spaceship right now. Really? <laughs> yeah, and try to and try to kill Horus. You Horace. could. That would be I feel funny. like we're not gonna we're that not gonna funny. finish oh, this we're game. We're certainly not gonna finish this game. We got what we wanted out of this experience. We did. I think so. Oh yeah, we got story time with Robert. Yeah. So from here on, it's just. This is just gravy, yeah. Yeah, this is just gravy. We'll wait right for Robert to come back. Yeah. How's the chat doing? How are you guys doing? Oh, they, they've been enjoying this. Oh, well, okay, good. I, was, I thought it would be fun just to... Oh, yeah, these, pe these, these, these fellas, that we had a good amount of viewers. This, is, this has been a good, healthy stream of this uh Of us playing Warhammer. this goddamn game. Yeah. It's been good. All right. Cat camp's been good. Yeah. yeah. For my stupid orders. Oh, there. Yeah, you've had your face in that book. I realize you haven't looked at the chat or anything, mm -hmm. but it's been good. All right, cool. Hmm. Never do, never doing this again. I don't think <laughs> not another Warhammer night. Well, probably taking this off the vote. I mean, it was, it had to happen, right? Yeah, this had to happen. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can move anywhere or attack him. Not with that, I can't. You can't just go for the killing blow? No. You can't be hype? I could maybe be hype. <laughs> Let me see if I'm understanding this correctly. Hey, Carrie Noir. Again. I'm gonna piss off the cat a little more. Rocking your butt. Just rocking your butt. Just rocking it. Just rocking the butt. This is bothering you, kitten? Oh, kitty. Kitten, this is bothering you. Hey. Yeah, you can't ignore me. You can't ignore me. Take that. You had to be social? That sucks. That's the worst. Are you? Uh huh. Okay. All right. What did I miss? Tom's gonna Robert? be hype. Huh? I'm gonna be hype as shit. All right. Let's you ready for how hype I'm about to be? I'm ready to war with some hams. Yeah, ham war. I'm right. gonna play boarding action. Oh no. Oh yeah. I'm getting shit done. Okay, what does that do? That means I get to move any units and heroes from one area in the palace region to the catacombs of the Vengeful Spirit. Okay. I just have the Emperor 1. I'm not going to send the Emperor yet. I'm going to send this guy. 
Oh, you're doing exactly the same thing the Emperor did. Wait, no, that's not Sanguinus. Is that Sanguinus? That's Sanguinus, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the wings. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't work out well the last time. Well, I wanted to be hype, but also historical. Hmm. Yeah, that's hype historical. <laughs> like, the hype historical, yeah. So far, this is very historical. accurate. Oh, kid. I'm sorry. That was an expensive move. He's very upset. Can you look like you're stuck? So we fight now? No, no, not yet. Okay. Oh, right, because that ship is the size of New York City. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, now we do fight. Oh. <clears throat> well, smack my bitch up. <laughs> The prodigy. We both walk out of the room. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's just me now. What an exciting out. <laughs> Robert said, and now we fight. So we stepped into the next room to fight. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to actually fist we're fight. Actually. Yeah, so I just said, did they just leave to go fight? <laughs> <laughs> we sure did. How do you yeah. hands, motherfucker? Okay. So. Okay. Just do the thing. All right, you get to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these little cards. Jesus Christ! I get to draw also nine. Every fight's like a little card game. Yep. And then I also get to draw two hero cards because I got a hero. Y'all. Nine. I did it. You sure did. picture they picked for shields is stupid. I know, that does not look like a shield to me no. at all. No. No, it does not. Mm -hmm. It looks like a rectangle with a dick. Huh. A dick tangle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A cock tangle. A cock tangle. We're in a real cock tangle right now, boys. Mm -hmm. Would this game be better or worse on drugs? I mean, I wish I had brought my drugs. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if this is um. You pot, Dave? Um, only edibles. I oh think. no, no. Yeah, no, you no. don't want to do that. No, no. You no. don't want to get high six hours from now. No, no, sir. No. How am I doing? Having a good night? Yeah, I'm having a good night. I've been enjoying myself. Okay. Hello, platypus. All right. Okay. So I get to hit you first. Hit me once. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. Hit me twice. Won't get hit again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember that was a president saying a dumb thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just getting a phrase wrong. Mm -hmm. Slightly wrong. That was like a Daily Show segment. Mm -hmm. Just on that. Now the president threatens to fist fight the old vice president. Yeah. And it's not even news. Nope. It's barely like, news. We just roll right through that. That's insane. I bet it would be news if they actually fought. We should get them to fight. There is no way that that fight lasts more than a second. The length of, that, la that fight lasts as long as it takes... For Diamond Joe Biden to swing a punch. Yeah. Because Trump drops at the first hit. Like, Joe Biden has been punched in the face before. Oh, yeah. A lot of times. Oh, yeah. Like, Joe Biden's just, usually just the kind it. of guy who greets certain friends with a headbutt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah I would not be does. surprised if Joe Biden has been stabbed at least once. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, that fight wouldn't last. No. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna hit you with um, with this card. Oh God, Angels of Death. Um, eliminate one opposing unit regardless of its rank. It costs five shields to counter that. So I'm hitting you for one direct damage, but but uh, it eliminates a unit, and yeah. I have to deploy the five shields in one card. No, it can be a combat. Well, you can, you can, in this yeah, trade, because it's turn you. one. Oh, I believe. I can only use one card, or what? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. 
Is that how you Let me give you units. Do 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 do. Combat do 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 do. Okay, with special effect. Actually, it doesn't say. Okay. Great game. It doesn't say for that one. It just says you have to. You can discard that many cards to counter its effect. Okay. Um, I will. Can I deploy a card and then use the other, even if it doesn't stop the effect, but also do the thing that the card says it does? No, you have to be the. The, the active one in the I'll, I'll just suck it up. Way. I'll just suck it up and take it. Alright, so I'm eliminating one opposing unit regardless of rank, so I'm going to get rid of these demons, because they're the strongest. Thank you so much, Chops. Hmm? Got Canada Dry Bits. Yeah! Okay, uh, now you're just... You can try to block that one with a shield if you want to, from your hand. Um... This is some real quality ham. <laughs> <laughs> some good hams. Some quality hams. I'll block it. Sure. All right. Now I fight back. Um. Yeah. Now it's your turn. So go ahead and discard that card. Um. It's round two, so you can use two cards if you want. Okay. Later, Carrie. Thanks oh, for stopping by. I'm gonna do both of these. One of which eliminates an opposing unit despite, it, regardless of its rank, five shields counter. You have to have Chaos Space Marines to do it. Don't I? No, not there. Some of those get. Oh, are those all demons? Oh, no, those are little guys. They're little guys, yeah. And then this one, you have to be the attacking unit, which you're not. You're oh, oh then I'm not going to use those cards. Okay. <clears throat> no worries. I would still take the, dem the numeric damage. Do I have any demons in there? I just killed them. This is not going to go black. great for me. I killed your stupid demons, and I'm coming for Horus. Mm. Um, what a weird way to do combat. Yeah, it's terrible. So just roll I'll dice. just try to hit you with the stuff. Here's six. Okay. You could use this one if you want to. Eliminate this unit to eliminate an opposing unit of the same or lower rank. Well, actually, you can't. Mm. So never mind. Okay, so that's six total. There's the three. And... A two. So I'm taking one... to do that oh wait Space I can't do I can't do subscriber guy just yet I was looking at twitch oh okay so, so one of my little space marines got hurt oh I know it's very sad okay all right now it's round three it's back to me smacking you all right three damage <sighs> oh wait I can play more my dick is hard as a horse um so for a total of five uh, oh, fuck it. Six. Yeah, just take it. All right, well, that kills all your guys. <laughs> that was all part of the plan. <laughs> all part of God's great design. All right, so we discard the rest of these. Mm -hmm. And the fight is over. God's plan. God's plan. Mm -hmm. I'm in your shit! card because we passed an event card space. Oh, yeah, Word Sickle did just subscribe. Okay. Thank you for that sub, Word Sickle. You actually do this because it's now your initiative. Mm. So, do whatever that says. Well, it says the Imperial player does it. Mm. You choose six ranks worth of Chaos units okay. in the same area and 
move them to one adjacent area that does not contain any Imperial units. So that. Who's winning? No one is winning. <laughs> it is not possible for someone to win this game. It only says it takes like a couple hours to play. So you gotta move six ranks worth of my units. Wherever you want to be, really. Actually, I want to be over here. Okay, so the white lines are all little areas. Yeah. Yeah. And the bigger things are like regions. Right. Okay, now it's my turn. Yeah, now it's your initiative. Was that all that this did? The traitor player may have any heroes in the origin area move with the chosen units. This game uses eight decks of cards. You may want to decide whether to move the he heroes till the Imperial players finish moving all the units. No. So basically, because this was the origin area, because that's where I moved them from, you can choose to move Green Dude if you want to. Nah. Alright, what's next? Uh, now you get to do an, uh, orders. Okay. Uh, so you can place an order for one point. You can play an order from fuck there. Fuck this guy. Okay. You're going to fucking land on me. Yeah. In a friendly or neutral spaceport in this area. There's none of those, are there? Nope. Oh, wait, no. This is friendly. But it's not in the palace. Isn't it? Isn't it? Actually... Imperial Plateau. No, I'm thinking this is this is inside the palace. Is it? Yeah. Because the area around it is the Imperial Plateau region. Oh. And then the Volcanus region and... Well, I guess I'll do the same thing. Ah. What is that? Place units from your stockpile or from the Vengeful Spirit. You can take them from your unused units. Nope. Friendly neutral spaceport in this region. All oh, part of God's great experience. design. <laughs> oh. Because you played it from the strategy map, you get the additional strategic effect, which is the maximum combined rake is increased to 12 instead of 6. Oh. So you can move these guys down too if you wanted to. Perfect. It never tells you what the hero's rank is considered to be. Because I don't... I know you can move heroes that way, but I'm not sure. Well, I just want him alone on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get this game over quickly? <laughs> I'm role-playing, but there's... He's surrendering. Horus in the actual fluff was a fucking moron. So... Okay. Playing him as you a, a historic, mm -hmm. a historic uh, reenaction. Okay, okay, so that cost. Yeah. He was a very dumb guy who lowered his shield mm -hmm. so the emperor could teleport onto his ship, and then he got killed. <laughs> he was dumb. <laughs> you can do another thing because you, your marker hasn't passed mine. The last move that I did to teleport my oh, to the so ship. Oh, so you can do another thing. Huh? Yeah, you can play a card. Place a card. Execute an order from the map. Either those are both one. Play one from your hand, which will be however many points it, it costs. Bury an order, or try fire fight. These guys are attacking them. Sure, I'm gonna fort so it reduces damage by two. I don't give a shit. So, you Let's know. fucking die. All right, what does this do? How many do I get for Mortarion? <laughs> How many death cards you do I get, get to draw? Two of these special hero cards. I'm gonna fuck everybody. In addition to the combined ranks you dudes. Fucking uh, <laughs> fuck the world. I'm gonna fuck the world. You're gonna crack open that world and fuck it. Mm-hmm. That's all horrible. Oh wait, you, this this. I'm sorry. You can't. You can't do it from this area. Why? Because <laughs> you just teleported into this area. So you can't, like, you can't activate the same area in two turn cycles. Because it, check it, it says, oh. yeah, activate the spaceport ah, area. Of course. So Sensible. You, yeah. I'll try to kill these guys. Sure. I still so, get the two. Same characters. rules. Yeah, yeah, same rules. One, two, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to fuck you. Okay. Saying Dan would have a field day with these rules. Dan doesn't play games like these. No, he doesn't. No, Dan would hate Dan refuses. everything about the explanation that I just made for hams. Yeah. And all of the fluff. Three, six, 
You would be furious this whole time. Oh, I should have been shooting you with my fucking cannons. Well, you didn't. I didn't. I need to remember that my cannon did. Alright, I'm gonna sodomize those guys. Well, hold on. Six, seven. Can you have a sodomize card? card? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. How many do I play at first? Uh, it's the first round, so only one. Unquenchable Deviance. Okay. I mean, let me have it. And I'm going to use my unquenchable deviance to... Oh, this... Yeah. This, well, they're just thirsty. It is they're just thirsty. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do three damage. I'm going to let these guys die to kill these guys. Oh, my little guys? Yeah, my little guys. Okay. Which is actually a win for you, but fuck you. All right. Now fine. people are dead. You need to get three damage. I'm playing with these. Yeah, you were saying I'm having my, have my own game. I'm having my own game over here. Own game. I can block two. Yeah, well. So you get to assign the damage. I have these these space marines. Yeah, I don't like your space same. marines. Oh, fucking space marines. Being being cocks. Are there? Oh, it reduces. I'm in a fort, so it reduces all the damage by two. Are there objectives, or is it just wiping it out, each other out? There's three ways that to is win. the objective. Okay, um, you. Okay. I can kill Horus, or he can kill the Emperor. Um, once we get to this space on the board that says spaceport victory possible, whoever controls all four spaceports from that point on wins immediately. Okay. Or if it gets to the very end of the initiative track, I win. That's how the, the game. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So these are the actual model of. Oh wow. Yeah, and this that's like three feet long. Let me see. Yeah, I'm finding a good picture of it. Oh, here we go. This one's on, like, a scale map. Oh, wait, no, that one's made out of fucking cards. Losers. Dorks. Fucking nerds. All right, here we go. This is a good one that shows the scale of it. Yeah, that's pretty enormous. Yeah, it's like a $700 model. All right. <sighs> fucking hams. Fucking hams. I know people I love that who have the bought... nickname for this is Hams. I am almost the only one. There was a <laughs> series of comics about Warhammer back in the like 2007 or 8 that called it Hams that were just making fun of how stupid it is. That's great. And then they disappeared, and now nobody nobody else gets the joke. Hmm. But I call it Hams. Warhams. I'm gonna hit you with some shit. Boy, I'm hitting you with that comic. A total of three. Fucking fuck my dick up. I will. Um, okay, so I get to do two things, and I'm going to do it in this order. I'm the defending unit, so okay. I get to discard two random combat cards from your hand, so hold up your hand for me. Okay. It's five shields to counter it. First, <laughs> more hands. <laughs> this, this ah. so good. This so good. <laughs> I like the hot dog. Yeah. Show it to the. Can we put it in front yeah, of the camera? Yeah, this, the hands. All right. Okay. So hold up your hand, your combat cards, and I'm gonna discard two of them. Which is the fucking combat the hand cards. of cards that you're using? Right I've now. completely forgotten which one I'm using right now. I think it's this one. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. And these are ones you've already used. Probably. All right. Let's put it over there. This All right. Now. Smack my bitch up. Let's see how this well, I'm gonna get rid of your two hero cards because they frighten me. That's they're fucking useless. Um, and I also get, because I'm using Space Marines, I get to eliminate one opponent opposing unit regardless of its rank. This is also five shields to counter. All right, I'm going to counter it okay. with five shields. All right, so discard those five shields. <laughs> Ass butt. <laughs> All right, now you have, you're facing three damage. Well, you, you can only use two cards to defend against the, this physical I'll damage. I'll defend against three. Okay. And then it's my turn. So was that three? Yeah. So it is. Yeah, now it's your turn. Uh, okay. You can play three cards now. I'm going to play two because that's all I have left. All right. You get a counter six damage, and I also am going to t twice move your initiative marker forward one place, which okay. you can counter with ten shields or five shields for each. Nope. You're just going to bump it forward. Yep. Alright, um, 
six damage, huh? Well, it's taken down by two because I'm in a fort. Yes. So, four damage. Shit. So it's got a little the initiative. Oh, never mind. What's that? All right, I'm going to no, block okay. two and take two. So, Robert, how do you want to deal with assign the damage here? I'm so going to assess what the fuck is the initiative marker. Oh, man, it's. <laughs> A needlessly complicated uh, layer that game. they added to this game. It feels like this is like regular board game styles. You move along a track and get to the I end. I get what it's... And I then get there's like this, then there's cards. It just needs oh, dice. Okay, here and we it's go. got like... Here are, it's got so many here are the actual models of the Titans. These guys... Right. <laughs> the <laughs> biggest one is like $3,000. Show chat. Show chat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, those are like people size. Yes, those are like tiny people. <laughs> you dealt two damage to my two space marines here. How do you want to deal it out? One each or, or two on two one? Two on one. Okay. I get what the initiative track is trying to represent. It's like... Time? No, no? it's like, rather than a traditional turn order, it's like... You can do the more you do, like the longer you have to wait for your next turn. Basically, oh, oh, so, like for each order that you play, it costs a certain amount of initiative points. But Robert just bumped me up twice on there, so he gets to do like it's still his turn for quite a while. Oh, <laughs> damn, this is the opposite of what I <laughs> like. He to still do. gets to do shit. Uh, um, oh, I'm gonna no. attack you with both of these. Uh, so you're getting hit with six. Okay. You know, now that you say six, mm -hmm. this makes me think of something. Which I'm looking up right now. And I see that you can't defend it, so... Uh, it's <laughs> gonna I, got, be, I got no cards. It's going to be killing both of these guys, and just your little guy is there by himself now. Aww. He's so lonely. He is. One of the demons has a lot of nipples, and I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Just so many. Oh, yeah. Like uh, like the Garfield. Huh? <laughs> like Katie Golden had a character that's a, a swole Garfield. Oh, oh yeah. Garfield. Yeah. Swole field. It also had six nipples. <laughs> oh, that thing was a nightmare. Yeah, man. I really should have remembered. Uh, there's 45 pages of rules, so I'm gonna cut myself some slack. But I should have remembered my lasers for when Robert dropped guys because I could have shot at them. You could have lasered them. I could have lasered them right out of the fucking sky. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's a good 40k picture. Oh, so this is a, this is just a normal Chaos Space Marine riding his gigantic metal horse dog in front of some other guys. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. They're, they're all worshipping him. And everybody's having a good time. Should be out. Hmm? Oh, sorry, they're asking him there. Um, Probably next week, right? Yeah, we're trying to do it every Wednesday. Of what? Um, any, of the, the RPG, the thing I was telling you about, the oh. Choose Your Wednesday. Oh, right. Any Don't pick those up. Crack. Oh, what? What do I do next, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm telling you. I got these guys, these guys right? Well, sort of. Um, you move me up on an event space, so I have to draw an event card again. Okay. We're recording it. Another one tomorrow. Apocalypse rains down. Do immediately. The, the trader uh, player chooses one area and then inflicts an orbital bombardment there. A palace. Fuck your shit. How do I do that? Pick an area in the palace. The Emperor. Okay. And for any extra cracked members we haven't seen yet lined up to stream, Katie Stoll's eventually going to Reckless or this. precise? Reckless. Always reckless. No effect. Well, you live by the reckless, you die by yeah. the reckless. You live by the sword. Oh, you it's sword. ATV, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to get Adam in here. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, okay, Robert, now it's, it's still your initiative. Uh, um, we get to... It changed, but briefly. Oh, so I can move those guys now? Actually, no, no. Initiative didn't change, so yeah. All right, well, these guys are going to... What do you got? You can also draw a card if you want to get another order. No, that no. costs one point. I'm going to attack these guys. Like, we have to move them Yeah, first. I can attack a target area in this region from any number of adjacent origin areas. So this guy is in this area. It's yeah, but he's yours. Here. What? You possessed him. Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, this game. All right, these guys are going to try to kill those guys. Fuck. 
Oh, the guy's in the state. Oh, we should have been resolving that. Well, now it's happening, Tom. Okay, so what's happening? Well, the, the, the death. Death kill. Death kill murder. This is assault. Uh, attack a target area in this region from any number of adjacent origin areas. Fight six iterations. Of Eternal combat. Warriors! So you can attack them with both these guys and these guys. All right, that's what I'm doing. All right, hold on. Oh, wait, how many other cards do I draw? <laughs> Tom, <laughs> come on. So, One, so two, three, four, five. Five so cards. Down. You get five cards. I've okay? got five cards. I'll teach you how to have cards. And I get two. All right, now you may attack. Here we go. This with is the six-breasted demon monster. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, six breasts on the demon monster. All right, Robert, hit me. Well, that one's cool. Okay, I'm going to fucking take this. Two. No cast space marines there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Suck on that, square head. That's just going to kill us. I'm all defended. Because I don't want to lose my entire guys just yet. Do right. you, is someone winning yet? No. Now what do I do? Okay. Yeah, uh, well, now it's my turn to hit you. Okay. I'm going to hit you with two. I'm going to block. Sure. All right. And we're at turn three. Now you can play three cards if you wish. Three damage. You only need to hit me with two. I said three damage. All right. I'm dead. You have killed me completely. Blech. Robert may control the spaceports <laughs> before too much longer. Oh, shit. Uh, got the spaceports, everybody is. Uh, these are the spaceports? Or is it these? These are the spaceports? No, no, no. They're the spaces that are marked as spaceports. It's one, two, two three, four. Okay, so he only has. Oh, I he has, see. He has yeah. two. Because his hero doesn't. Heroes don't count as. Yeah. They don't make a space friendly or enemy. Yeah. Um, okay, what was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get to go again, Robert. Well, I will go again, Tom. Right. Robert. You can Robert. draw a card. Oh, I'll draw a card. Uh, You're running low, I noticed. To any number of destination areas. Can I edit a draw? That would be the perfect end. <laughs> they all learn that... It actually can't end in a draw. Yeah. The what if that's can it, that would be the perfect end. I think the perfect end is okay, like one card. of these robots right, so can't the busted in to the apartment and murdered us. Okay. So we've hit um, change of initiative is hit. Stacking okay. limits are enforced, which we hadn't hit anywhere, I don't Jesus think. Jesus Christ. Stacking limits. Oh yeah, there's fucking stacking limits. Fucking God. Yeah. In general, it's three in every interior space and six in the normal spaces. Okay. So And also in the ship. So this is a six and this is a three. But it doesn't look like that's a problem. Okay. Um... We're not coexisting anywhere. I no, don't think. that's again a weird term. Yeah, for a war game. <laughs> um, it's a weird choice. Orders. Okay, so uh, what we can do right now is, since I hit a the you hit the order phase on the initiative track, you can discard a number of orders you want from your hand, pick up orders from your fresh pile. Certain orders you have have this little recycle symbol, which oh. means that they kind of go into a reserve pile instead of getting discard. Okay. So you can return those to your hand now if you want to. Okay. And then you can draw up to, to six cards in your hand if you want. No, I'm good. I have right. a lot of cards. I'm going to take this card back. So now it's your turn. That is true, Doc Garvey. Alex bursting in, calling us nerds, and flipping the board would be the perfect end. It just comes <laughs> in and just does a macho yeah. man elbow <laughs> right to the table. All these pieces fly everywhere. That would be amazing. It wouldn't be the first time. No. You should. Alex is mean. He bullies he's us. A, he's a all real of monster. Us. He's a yeah. real monster. One time he just threw rocks at me for an hour. Mm. Yeah. Little bitty rocks. Just mm -hmm. laughed. Mm -hmm. All right. That's my turn. Little bitty stones. Space Marines, space, 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 space Marines, space Marines, 
Space, space, space. Marines. All right, I'm a t- <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm going to do. Marines, 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 space, Marines, space, Marines. All right. All right. Um, assault. Attack a target area in this region from any number of adjacent origin areas. So, smack these my guys. We're all going to fucking come. Bring it! All I need is my Horus. Fight six iterations of combat. All right. What does he do? How does You Horus get two work? hero cards. Okay. Suck on this, Chomsky. Pretty sure that's how that works. Oh my god. Video of Alex throwing rocks at someone and laughing. Go watch the again New Die Weekly with Alex and Soren making him eat a rock. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. I can't assault you. I have to, like, move into your area. That's dumb. ATV keeps mentioning mm-hmm. it. Who? ATV. Uh, they were saying he keeps mentioning it. I think they mean ATV mentioning coming and playing games. Oh, oh, oh. Because he has yet to do it. I do want to see ATV playing board games. I feel like he feel like he wouldn't be that into it. <laughs> or maybe he'd be really into it. It's one of oh, the, wait, no, uh, I can still attack you. What am I talking about? All right. Bring it. It's attack time. We'll deal with that later. Take on me. Take me on. Where's Where's he talking about? It? Oh, it must be in the podcast. I'll, and I'll do it in a second. Do, 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 do. All right, so you get two of your hero cards, which you drew. Oh, I yeah. get. I'm balls deep in hero cards. I get nine mm. plus two for my Christ sanguinous. <laughs> I'm just going to beat you to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this might not go the way you're thinking, Tom. Tom, good night, Octon. Huh? Octon, say good night. Oh. Good night, Octon. Here's four damage. For yeah. Down. Well, you know what, Tom? I'm gonna block three of it. Okay. All right. So your little, which one is fucking Horace? Is this him? Yeah, this is him. Yeah. All right. Your one. All right. And then I get to counterattack. Is that how that works? I don't play cards. Um. Yes. All right. Now you get to play a card. In a unit, I'm going to eliminate Horus, and I'm going to take out one of your space marines. Oh. Uh, the hero doesn't count as a unit. No! Sorry. That's <laughs> my whole plan was suicide. <laughs> when you have a sentry, you committed suicide. <laughs> oh. You're doing three damage, though. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the leader of the army throws himself out. What is exactly that card symbolize? Like what is it, any unit eliminate this unit to eliminate an opposing unit of the same or lower rank? Okay, is there like a but is there like a narrative? It version? says unquenchable deviance. <laughs> <laughs> How is that unquenchable deviance? I don't, I don't I don't know. Are they what are they doing? <laughs> They're fucking it and themselves to death. Yeah, I guess so. Are those your hero cards? Maybe. Are, those, are those your normal cards? I don't know, Tom. To tell. There's so many There's cards. There's some skull cards over these here. These are your hero you cards. Yeah. These so cards? many cards. These are your fucking hero cards. What's these skull cards? The skull cards are event cards. Those don't get used. Oh, okay. Right There's Eight fucking there. decks. Eight decks of cards. All right. Um, I should probably block some of that. Where the fuck did I just put my hand? Cannot be on. Where the f- oh, there they are. God, there's so many fucking cards. You put them down for a second, you just lose them. This should have come with like some sort of deck holder. Or, I don't know. Yeah, what. it came with nothing. It comes with too much. Of yeah. Okay. So everything. you're hitting. You're hitting me with three. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Fuck it. I'll just take it. All right. You have to deal the damage you out to my I'm gonna space marines. Kill little guys. Okay, so that's one, two, and then... Yeah, fuck your little space marines. No, my space I'm, marines. I'm better space marine. You got a card. So. Yep. 
This is not going so great for old Horace. Turn number three. Um... Wait, Gladstone's still alive? <laughs> yeah, no, still around. That feels like a mistake. Crazy Gladstone. Crazy old, old Mr. Gladstone. He's still getting hit by numbers. You know what the weird thing about Gladstone is? Is he's never glad uh, about stones. Okay. So, I have a hero, so I get to do this. I draw one combat card. Okay. And then I deal two damage to the opposing hero. Okay. Um, Horus! Now you have seven damage to contend with. I have no cards. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> we finished the game! Oh we finished the game! We finished the game! I killed Horus! <laughs> I teleported onto a spaceship and I fucking stabbed him! You teleported onto a spaceship and Horus, Horus cunningly sent all of his soldiers away. <laughs> yeah. He, he sent it his just, per personal retinue planet side. Did you just, like, lay on your throne? Like? Yeah. <laughs> he was just <laughs> masturbating yeah. when they came in. <laughs> oh, all of our heroes have special abilities that I completely ignored. Yeah. I keep card. coming across references to rules and the cards, and I'm like, Tom didn't explain that. I'm just not going to bring it up. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> like so, what rules? I don't know. It was just like, how would you rate this game? It's okay. Yeah, it didn't look. See again, it doesn't. From my perspective, it didn't look like the worst thing in the world. No, it's just. I think it's 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 it's, just it's a little too complicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it would there's be too many easier to play now, but <laughs> talk. I mean, yeah. now Tom plays Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, get in here. You be the yeah. traitor. You be the traitor, Horus. <laughs> my God, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not bad. It's just, I think there's a, it's a little, it's a little too complicated. Yeah, like the actual flow of the game isn't super it's complicated, fine. but there's like there's six different areas of the board you have to keep track of. There's eight decks of cards. Yeah, it should be dice based. It should be the, dice. The combat should be dice based. Is there a way to like make it? No, dice -based? no, no, because the combat effects of each card. Like I appreciate it, that. That there's like the neat little battle effects are kind of cool. Okay. It just, I guess they just figured it was more. <sighs> Replacing the cards with dice would take out a, a huge strategic okay. element of the game. Um, well, but I killed fucking Horus. That was the Horus Heresy game. Yep. And okay. also all of the backstory of Warhammer that I could remember in two and a half hours. Oh man. What God a damn. Game. Yeah. What a game. Hams. <laughs> hams our version of hams so i recommend all you people out there in radio land go cash in your 401ks mm -hmm. uh sell everything in your house and buy warhammer armies and then you too can wind up screaming at a small oh, child in, yeah. a, in a hobby shop <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was always great. I didn't even talk about battle tech. There was always one group oh. of five elderly men. Battle tech All of is old. Five group, five men, none of whom were under fifty, would always take up one table at the gaming store, and they would never talk to anyone else. And it would never be clear that they were playing a game, but they would be surrounded by stacks of books and just. Yelling at each other the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like old guys playing poker. Yeah, like, yeah but it's battle um, tech. Oh, thanks for those pants, Mo. Uh, oh my god, uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this wasn't terrible. This wasn't as bad as I. Do we have to disassemble be. all these? No, no, no. I just have to move the ones that he possessed. Oh, okay. I was like, oh my god. Like I could see if. We already knew the rules ahead of time. It would be a little easier. It would be a little smoother play. Yeah, next time we'll, and, we'll bring Dan in. And, yeah. yeah, we'll I'll explain oh, Warhammer oh, yeah. again. Yeah. Let's make Dan play this game. Dan will never play this let's, game. Let's make Dan sit through three hours of Ham's talk. <laughs> he would. Dan would have been as unenthusiastic as you were. It would have been like a thousandfold. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. I actually love Warhammer. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. No, this this whole game was my version of that South Park episode, The Losing Edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where they're just trying to lose. Yeah, how does this compare to actual Warhammer? It's nothing like it. Okay. Yeah, this is... Okay. No, I, 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 I very much enjoy actual Warhammer whenever I, I played it. And I, I it's don't... fun. It's playing with your action figures with rules. Yeah, and I, I liked how weird the rules were. There's a lot of fun shit you could do. Um, when you were actually playing with your friends and not weird, angry old men... Uh, it was a lot of fun. And, like, the, there were some older guys who were nice about it. Like, like I said, like, I had... A lot of the guys I played with were, like, in the National Guard and stuff. And Right. You think they should be nice about it. Yeah. Like, it was just some, games, or, some very damaged people also wound up obsessed right, with it. Right, right. And they took their anger out on children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Hams. Oh, hams indeed. <sighs> All right, should we call it? Yeah, yeah, probably. The street? I think so. We we, well, we, we successfully uh, we successfully had Robert explain the history of Warhammer, and we played we played it a we game it. of Horace Heresy. I full game. never thought I would do that. It was street. a full game. Never thought I would play this game. All right. Everybody watching, have a good night. Yeah, thanks for watching, yep. everyone. Thanks for watching. Robert, do you have anything you need to plug or anything while you're here? Um, the internet, use it, but not the Facebook. Oh, yeah, stop using Facebook. Everybody yeah, Facebook. Yeah, everybody stop using Facebook. All right. All right. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye.